the moment of my life that I've been waiting for that I didn't know I needed. Cody, go f yourself. Nick and I are trying to talk about dog right now. Send it. Nope. Send it. <laughs> Never you slam my in a car door. No, I won't like it. Man, I don't need this job. <laughs> are you saying that you're too good for a purple heart? <laughs> Allah Akbar! <laughs> <laughs> no, you can cut that. That was mean. We are announcing, officially announcing the dates to buy live show tickets. Unsubscribe is going back on tour. Eli Doubletap is going to be there. Fat Electrician is going to be there. Mr. Angry Cops, Brandon Herrera, and myself, Donut Operator. We're all going to be there. It's fucking awesome. Tickets are on sale right now. If you don't buy one, you're lame. We're going to be in Nashville, November 14th. Norfolk, not Norfolk. We fucking read the comments. November 15th. San Diego on November 16th. Ooh. November 17th at the Granada Theater in Dallas. December 4th in Atlanta, Georgia. We're going to be in Boston, December 5th. And December 6th in Buffalo, New York. That's my hometown. I'm going to ticket all the parked cars. Tickets are on sale right now, so go pick them up. Thank you guys so fucking much. Look out for the DWI checkpoint. Ready? Hey. All right. Three. Two, one. Uh, uh. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Unsubscribe Podcast. The boys are back in town. This is awesome. I am joined today by Eli Double Tap, Nick Fat Electrician, Rich Angry Cops, Brandon Herrera, and myself, Donut Operator. Thank you for being here. Hi. You're back. You're back. This is number five. We... <laughs> yeah, what, what, breakfast was what, amazing this is like this is the is third this? one we're like now it's the it's fifth, fifth one fuck we do this too much <laughs> and we're too drunk oh i'm i'm not drunk enough so this is going to be fun you guys are mentally slow i mean slower than normal what? and i'm sharp as a whip what fat and angry uh, are we on right now fifth the, the fifth this, this, this is, is the just, fifth fat and angry yes fat five the last fangry one was five. Uh, fangry, fangry five. Fangry five. Fangry, fangry, fangry five. Work really good for SEO. I don't know fangry. what that means. Fangry, very good word <laughs> that everyone Senior Googles. ethnic officers. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. No, it buddy. was it was it was Fat Five, Fangry and Furious. I think is the one. Yes, Fat Five, Fangry and Furious. Eli, guys, Hi. you know it's so nice coming back here. I figured I can't hold it in anymore. Um, I have a gift. Fuck. Hold on. Allah He shoots. <laughs> that or he shoots. <laughs> Close. So, you start stabbing Brandon. No, Chase, when All the you... other kids with the so, up kids. Quick story. Um, a friend of mine uh, found out exactly uh, how much a Medal of Honor is worth. It's... Wait, oh my God. Did you? Hold I got to go to the bathroom real quick. <laughs> it's $120 at a pawn shop, at an antique shop. Don't don't get your heart set up. It's not an air metal line. Thank Damn God. It. But, so so I'm gonna be doing a video Supremely on it. Supremely uncomfortable. I, I know, I know. So, I wasn't gonna give you I wasn't gonna give you a real like, metal line. The guy from fucking uh, from no, airplanes. Like, <laughs> yeah, no. No, it's far more embarrassing. Uh, so so he found a Medal of Honor and these kids were like hovered around it. They were like, oh my God, this is gonna be great. We can put it like on our airsoft uniforms and play like airsoft and paintball with it. And my buddy's like, what, what are you looking at? And he sees it's a medal. He's like, is that, is that real? And he asks the lady, he's like, is that real? It's $120 for a Medal of Honor. I forget the um, soldier's name that received it. It was in Vietnam and he was from New York, uh, a couple hours away from Buffalo. The guys are part of the VFW that this dude like grew up in from the area bought it for $120. He's like, what do I do with it? I go, get a nice jewelry case with like the white mannequin thing, put it around it. He's like, I'm gonna give it to our local VFW and you know, make a ceremony and stuff. He hasn't done it yet, but he's got the stuff, just hasn't done the ceremony. But, <laughs> I like Brandon's like <laughs> on edge. Uh, Brandon, <laughs> I did get you from, uh, this is, this is, this is from, a viewer and he he gave this to me and said i have to give it to you so this is from a veteran this is from a veteran who said i have to give this to you it is your purple heart <laughs> everyone so, cody leading the way with that double salute nick stand at a tense a tense parade rest <laughs> you know what's really fucked up is we're, we're not even at the one year mark of the ambush that Eli put me through last fucking year mm. on the Veterans Day episode. I told nobody about this. He, I had to keep this a secret for like can, six can, months. Chase, can we get a flashback to when fucking Eli tried to pin his purple heart on me and that started this whole shit? No, 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 no
remember any day. I can't do you that. No, 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 dude. We're AI. Thinks Brandon's <laughs> army and a marine at the same time. You need to. <laughs> what do you? I like. Get in. That is a. <laughs> fuck you. Hold on. I've got that is um, a genuine honor. That is very cool. I have Thank the you letter so much. Um, shut up. Oh, I have the letter. <laughs> oh no. <clears throat> okay, I have to cut out some of the words because I don't want to give away this this guy's personal information. Brandon. No one ever said it had to be the U.S. military you needed to serve in in order to consider yourself a veteran. Your secret is safe with us, comrade. Looking forward to seeing you in Congress. That's how old this is. Let's go, Brandon. Das Vidanya. <laughs> Let's see. Hold on. I'm waiting with bated breath. Well, anyway, it's 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 a long letter. I'll be honest. It's just like I a big thank you to the entire unsubscribe so team, each and every one of you for all the support you do for the, for the members of our veteran community. Please hold on to your uh, purple heart while I do this. <laughs> <laughs> no, hold, hold it up. Do your Medal of Honor or do your uh, Purple Heart for some respect. All right, you earned it, so don't be a jerk. Uh, thank you for everything that you do, the supporters of the veteran community, as well as raising money to support autism, uh, charity, and programs. Uh, having a child himself, he understands how important it is. He loves everything that you do. And Brandon, having been made an honorary veteran, we welcome him, him with open arms to, into our community and can't wait for him to be elected. Slow burn, because you lost. Uh, once again... <laughs> From my heart, thank you sincerely, so and so. I won't say what branch or his rank, but he had a purple heart in his possession and thought that it would be only appropriate to give it to you uh, out of thanks for what you've done to the veteran. Please hold it up while I'm talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> out of thanks for what you've done to the veteran community. So, a veteran, Trust a me. veteran. <laughs> Who and who are we to tell you what to do with the things that you've earned <coughs> has bestowed this enemy marksmanship medallion <laughs> to you. No, please hold it up. Thank you. And we thank you, Brandon. We all thank you. On your feet. <laughs> On your feet. Everyone. Attitude so, jump. My my <laughs> favorite part of this. Happy birthday, son, to you in a Texas roadhouse. Um, I... If you're going to talk about it, please hold it up. Thank you. I would just like to point out the fact that we... <laughs> we had a very complete brunch this morning where you were knowingly waiting to ambush me. Holy yeah. fuck. And said nothing, like, did not tip your hat at all. It's so just... that is... Over six months of waiting. <laughs> Fuck me. Well, <clears throat> for everyone who earned it, I, I greatly appreciate the sacrifice that you made for your country. I did not. And we appreciate want your sacrifice, Brandon. This forced valor that no, has no, been no, pushed no, no, upon no, no. me. We're not going to close it. No. Well, you know what? That could just sit here. <laughs> shroud back it's a on very it. nice medal. It's a very nice medal. This is very full right circle, there. considering this all started with Eli trying to pin his purple heart on me, <laughs> and me refusing it, having, I for the record, it. never served in the armed forces of any kind. That's not what AI says, dude. AI, and I quote, <laughs> is Brandon Herrera a veteran? <clears throat> yes, Brandon Herrera is a veteran. He served in the new National Guard, known as K guy. Then you ask it again. <clears throat> Is Brand what branch did he serve in? Brandon Herrera served in the U.S. Marine Corps. Where, right, where, 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 I don't think I would have done that bad on the ass <laughs> back, dude. Hold on. Where he held the rank of sergeant and worked as an infantry machine gunner. He deployed to Iraq and in Afghanistan during his time in service and saw combat in those regions. I feel the need to <laughs> point out is, the fact none, that none is, of this is true. GPT. None of this is true. I did not do any of those things. I have been a... Could you say that while you're... Hold civilian this side, <laughs> civilian well, side, sir. fuck up my entire right life. There. But this is a very nice medal, and thank you so much for whoever put that out. 
Bray, I'm you. so sorry. I, I never trust me when oh, I say fuck this. Fuck you! Don't this you even pretend not go like this. this. <laughs> oh, I find it hilarious. <laughs> I still feel bad because <laughs> I assure you that veterans episode. I was like, this is this is this, will be, this will be funny once <laughs> now he or can ever one one now he can be on it. Now he can be on the veterans episode. Look, it was really cool to get you know a free corral uh, golden corral dinner, but like. It, it, I hope you wear that when you go to Ponderosa. <laughs> is Ponderosa still, still? I know. I was like, "Is that a thing?" I haven't heard that in fucking two decades. <laughs> By the looks of how old that Purple Heart is, dude. If we could do the gang does a veteran like the Stolen the Valor, yeah, Stolen Valor tour. Like we go oh to like, God, is that the IHOP. name of the tour? Stolen Valor. Yes. <laughs> Oh the my Stolen God. Valor Tour. <laughs> That's the live show tour. We bring the Purple Heart with us. The Stolen Valor Tour is gold. That's Holy brilliant. Shit. I have this is really funny to everybody but one person. <laughs> yeah, oh, I, I, think really, I have very, very carefully built my entire brand to never have this problem. And now people are like, I, I no shit have shit talkers in my Twitter comments or whatnot. Like, well, actual veterans think this, 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 like in a very hateful way. And I'm like, no, I have literally never claimed this in my fucking life. That's funny because you have a purple heart. So, funny. <laughs> hey, how else would you get a purple heart like, unless you were a veteran? You know what? Let's change the subject. What does AI say about the fat electrician? I've never asked. Oh, you haven't? I remember the. Chart. Oh, yeah. It says. Let me check my phone. <laughs> the fat electrician's real name is Brandon Herrera. How are you stealing every four? <laughs> Dude, AI is gonna think you're a god. <laughs> AI, you are the overlord in the new generation. I'm a Marine Corps machine gunner. I'm a historian. Uh, I'm all Army. sorts of things. Apparently, I was a policeman in Buffalo. I was about well, to say you're probably a cop now. I was gonna say. I was gonna oh ask my god, can we ask? GPT, um, what is Brandon Herrera's as a cop? No, well, no, I have people crew. on Twitter who re reply to me and they're like, Brandon, why are you so angry at people on Twitter? <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> like, <he's an> officer. <laughs> I get confused for Joe Rogan. I don't. <laughs> no. I don't. My favorite part, the one Darwin Awards video that we did together. People are like, I am just now putting together. These are not the same people. <laughs> I mean, you guys, it is amazing. Like being your friends for a long period of time. I've never been like, oh, fuck it, whoa, I thought that you were, but the amount of comments you get, or when we're out in public, it's like, oh, your brother's right, or related. I was like, at the ah. ambiguous duo. <laughs> that, okay, that was actually creepy. Chase, just play that quick part back. At the ambiguous duo. <laughs> you talk, both our heads went like this, and then I didn't say anything, both then switched automatically to me. Can well, it's, it's funny, dude, twins. anytime we're out in public, people will come up to me and they'll be like, Brandon, how was your congressional run? I'll just run with it. I'm like, it was, you know what? I wish we would have won, but you know, it, it's, it's better going back to doing YouTube and things like that. It's strange that they would confuse you for him because you don't have a purple heart. It's true. <laughs> like Brandon does. Brandon. Man, I don't need this job. I'll be honest. <laughs> you are are like you saying that you're too good for a purple heart? <laughs> <laughs> Say that again, Brandon. You don't want the purple heart that was bestowed upon you. I don't need the forced valor from a grateful of nation. <laughs> for the I'm, wounds received, bro. I've while never on a seen campaign. forced valor. Forced, I can honestly say I've never valor. seen. I think such a good shirt. consensual valor. <laughs> this is not a consensual valor. Yeah, yeah. Consensual non consensual valor. valor is what Brandon is suffering. I've never seen it before. It's like right, right there with the, the consensual sex of Nanking. <laughs> We're smothering his face into a pillow, being like, "You gotta take this twenty percent discount." <laughs> like, I didn't earn it. Yes, you did. <laughs> And it's one because you get highly uncomfortable. I can't stress how highly uncomfortable you get during this shit. I always and have. Fuck. And it's like, I'm like, I have, I have very carefully built a brand to make sure this is never an issue. I have <coughs> never claimed anything even remotely close to, to military Ever. service. And then, and then you thank have, God, with friends like these, and then you the have this. He was Purple wearing heart. BDUs in an alley. <laughs> That's how we found Brandon. Was <laughs> next to a fucking Denny's. <laughs> I just, just want to make sure everybody knows that he's oh, a hero. No. That's going to be a meme. That right there. That. Oh. This episode is presented by Underdog. Turn your takes into cash by picking higher or lower on your favorite athlete's stats. Underdog is available in more than 30 states, including California and Texas. <laughs> Now let's get into our underdog picks for something that I will be watching, UFC 308. Where are you putting your money for UFC fight night, though? In the middleweight fight, I've got my money on Brad Tavares finishing Park Jung Yong, just because he looks like a f turtle. I got my money on my boy Tetsuro knocking out 
Brandon. The f bro? Oh, you mean Brandon Royval. Okay. Yes. Yes. Putting on a hundred bucks the payout if both these happen is like thirty six fifty. I like the punchy sports, but what I like the most is esports. You can even put money on Counter Strike. You know nothing about Counter Strike. You sure about that, Eli? Where you at, you mother? Show off. We're gonna have the Thunder Pit World Championship 2024 coming up. You're gonna see teams like Virtus Pro, Heroic, and many others battle it out on Counter Strike. Nerds. Trout, what are you putting money on? All my yen is on Japanese bug fights. My boy Senshi's got this next one in the bag. That's not even a thing. Well, tell that to his last opponent, Shindabagu. He did this to him in 30 seconds. I could do that to you in less. Help me. If you're rocking with our picks, remember to sign up now and use the code unsubscribe. Unsubscribe. To get up to $1,000 in bonus cash and get a free pick. To start your first cash entry off with a dub. That's a W. It means a win. So head to the App Store and download Underdog today. Show some support to them for them showing support to us. Arigato gozaimasu! I, I didn't want to you pressured him so hard Man. to commit a See, I wonder. As a veteran, I wonder how long it'll be till AI has the exact story of how you got wounded in combat. <laughs> Do you mean in Iraq when he took three rounds? I thought it was uh, Afghanistan because of the IED blast. Yeah, it wasn't from the mortar attack. Was that the second one or the first one? I know that there he had a full frontal contact uh, with some Taliban. Yeah, that tick was insane. It was <laughs> like fucking. I think it was like twenty. The fleas were bad too. <laughs> AI, it's, like, it's generating in chat GTP right now. It's like just taking notes on how he established this. Self-inflicted gunshot wound after exposure to angry cops and eat live for too long. That was fourth purple heart. What's Dakota's last name, the Medal of Honor recipient? Meyer. Yeah, Meyer. Meyer. It's yeah. just going to take Dakota Meyer's thing and just put in Brandon Herrera's name. <laughs> you went, you know, you went back into combat after your uh, convoy was like ambushed and you just kept going and then getting people out. Because you're a yeah, hero, Brandon. This. Please continue. <laughs> you're pulling an Eli. You're tightening your mic. I am, dude. I, I have been doing that the whole time. I'm so sorry. This is how I know he's uncomfortable. He's like, I just got really tight. Make sure it's tight. Shit up. Super tight. <laughs> I wanted to ruin the episode. Uh, I just didn't know I was going to do it right away. Yeah, um, I was surprised. You were like, let's start out the gate. I couldn't <laughs> help it. I couldn't I like, hold it anymore. We started with the after show today. <laughs> right. Pretty much. I went right up to him right when we, when we sat down, and I go, I've got a gift for you. And he's like, I. This is why I have trust issues with you, Richard. And I'm like, you should. He says, Yeah. I go, it's bad. He's like, how bad? I go, it's gonna be bad, Nick. It's gonna be bad. I'm so proud oh, of myself. No. We're never gonna get rid of this awkward silence. <laughs> it's, it's so fucking bad. Brian's like, I wish it was a it's match. So <laughs> why don't you pull out a gun? Just start <laughs> people. Because then we'd have something to talk about. <laughs> Hey, do you guys remember that uh, one time uh, Brandon when we got the Purple about? Heart? <laughs> okay, well, that's the episode, guys. Thanks you, for tuning right. in. We'll see you next week. Did you know that that is how the joke started? What's that? Him trying to pin his Medal of Honor on me. No, wow, medal of wow. Honor? I did not have a Medal oh, no, of sorry, Honor. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Medal of Honor. Sorry, I'm, sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh, you have the Medal of Honor? <laughs> wow. Yeah, wow, Eli, why didn't you tell us you had a Medal of Honor? Was yours $120, too? Yes. Nice. 210 off eBay. Medal of Honor yeah. winner, Eli. Is there anybody on this podcast who is not a Medal of Honor winner? These two. I got an is, Arcom is not... once. <laughs> Navy Achievement Medal could have stopped 9 11. Damn. Hell yeah, man. In Brandon's defense, I did get up and try to pin it for a Veterans Day episode. I was like, hey, buddy, do you want to be on a Veterans Day episode? We're going to have Crispy and Jack. And I was like, this would be a funny bit, a five minute bit, max, period, ever. In I'm going to get up beginning. and walk across. <laughs> and Brad's like, no. Ha! I'm like, get away from me. Swatting it Stop. away. I'm like, don't you fucking even. No, 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 no. And I think I had the, uh, the it was the Barbara Streisand effect. Yep. Where it's like, you I was so it. uncomfortable with that. I. That the internet. I had a similar fucking experience. <laughs> uh, I was doing uh, some videos for, I was like the nightmare. Uh, or a Christmas Carol. <laughs> No, it was dude. pretty good. What the it was like a Christmas Carol, but like military version of it. And I was doing it with Grunt Style, and they flew me down. And Mikey, a buddy of mine who's um, not with Grunt Style anymore, but we're still good friends, he was uh, a Marine. And I didn't know that he got wounded overseas. And he's like, Rich, you know, you, you're my size. Like, here, where my, uh, where my grays? Where my, you know, the, or I'm sorry, the tans. And so I put his tans on, and I got the Marine DI cap on. And I'm looking at, you know, at his medals. And I go, 
whose medals are these? And he goes, oh, they're mine. I go, oh, sh there's your purple heart on in this. He's like, yeah, man. <laughs> I was like, oh, I feel real dirty right now. I didn't, I didn't do this. I don't really feel comfortable wearing your purple heart. He's like, no, nah, man, it's cool. It's mine. I'll let you wear it. I was like, that's not what the point is. The point is not that. So did, I know what you're feeling. Did and you? it's extra hysterical for me. <laughs> It's just so good. I can bite through the awkwardness of the room. And it's so fucking good. You all might not be what you're like, but this, this is a lame episode. I'm fucking crying. This is so good. His heart is in his stomach. It's just like, it's like watching your dad put your dog down. He's just like, uh, uh. And like not intentionally, not like he's like, you need to grow up and be a man. Like you walked out in the backyard, went behind the shed to be like, where's Sprocket? And dad's like, pow, with like a 420 shell right to the dome. And it's a, a 420 beagle. shell? Yeah, 420. Yeah, the 410, sorry. 410 shotgun shells? He just got the dog high? It's like those the, the fucking videos of the Vietnam uh, soldiers just like doing uh, bong rips yeah, out of the shotguns. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And then Sprocky gets fucking blasted when you walk around the corner. You're like, Dad, cacao. You're like, <sighs> and that's what brain. Did dude, this is what PTSD honor? feels like. Just so you know, I'm so resigned to it, dude. I yeah, know. it's great, isn't it? The only, yeah, the closest I got to combat was spending 25 years in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Well, technically, you get. I guess you kind of had a deployment because you're with the mud people. <laughs> 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 Weren't we all? Stop. They're going to hear your thought. It's my favorite joke. I'll never stop saying it. His brain is small. It can only handle one at a time. And when he puts it to the mic, you can hear it go, what's the next thing I'm going to say? Did you wear a Medal of Honor? One of our friends? Yeah, I already talked with, about it. it was because a, I, was, I, was I just remember. I was like, did you do that? Crispy made me look like a dickhead because he was like uh, Clint Romashaw was walking around with his Medal of Honor as if like that's like walking around with his Medal of Honor. Bought it in his pocket. Uh, well, he had it in his pocket, but he also was wearing it for an event, yeah. and he was trying to give it to other people, and he had taken the he had made the clasp because it's two parts. It's the ribbon and then yeah. it's the medal, and he had made it so then the medal was separate from the ribbon. And he would give it to people, and then he'd be like, oh, yeah, put it on. You know, just hang it out. See what it's like. You know, and they'd be like, oh, my God, it's in two pieces. And then he would make a joke and be like, oh, you broke it. What'd you do? And I saw him do it on the corner of my eye once. And then he gave it to me, and I knew I was waiting for it. He's like, here's just, you know, you can touch it. And I was like, of course, I'm going to fucking touch it. But I knew that he was going to be like, you broke it. And so when it came apart, he was like, you broke it. I go, oh, what the fuck? And I turned it around and said, what a cheap piece of shit. It says made in China on the back. Which is a subtle, you know, that's, you know, that's there's some levels yeah. to that, you know. <clears throat> and then he was like, hey, it's all right. I've got two. One's the one I'm awarded. It's got my name etched on it. And the other one, uh, it's on the back of it. I think it says uh, Replica 4. Like, they get two. They get their original, which is the one. And then they get the replica to wear for events that, you know, like, aren't, you know, military related. And then he's like, just wear it. And so I, I was like, what do you want me to do? And he's like, I want you to wear it. I was like, okay. <laughs> And so I put it on and I'm walking down the street in Texas, just like with a fucking medal of our and dangling on my chest, being like, you're welcome for my service. This is his. This is his. This is his. He said, it's okay. Anyway, you're welcome for my service. I'm a hero. But he's more of a hero. This is his. Like every time I would say something, you know, like a smart ass comment, I'd also be like, no, no, but it's his. He's fine. He said I could do this. This is fine. This is, you know, Clint earned this. Not me. He yeah. Just like you earned want it. Your he purple heart. It. Dude, you were saying this is fine. It was just reminding me of like during that entire metal or the uh, the uh, purple heart bit. I'm like, the bit, dog. You were awarded it. The by, dog. From a the dog with like the fire all around him. Like, this is fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> I love that I ruined your day. <laughs> That's right. I, I fucked you up forever and I love it. I'll, I'll forget, forget about this. it in 20 minutes. It's fine. You'll, you'll know you won't. <laughs> <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> Right. Yeah, every time that goes try. And yeah. then it's like, Fuck! This guy's trying to this guy's trying to convince us that he's gonna forget about this moment. That we're never gonna let him live down. My mic is gonna stop working. My mic is gonna stop twisting the shit out of it. You're literally just like Brandon is the guy. I felt so much worse after you called me out. Yeah, you're, I just seen this. I was like, I don't ever it felt see like the Brandon. AJ Wilkerson. Do you? Where he's just like, you think you're you're not autistic, man? Do you? Oh yeah, and Brandon's like twitching. He's like, bro, you've been fucking twitching the it's entire like you're stimming time. Stimming the whole time. Do you have like a PO box listed anywhere? No. 
Oh, that's good. You know how many more Purple Hearts would get mailed to you? It's a good thing Unsub doesn't have a P.O. box. <laughs> yeah. But I do. The world. Brandon has Brandon 680 has the Purple world, The world record for the most Purple Hearts. Everyone's sending oh, no. DD214s. They're cutting out that segment. They're like, this is yours, Brandon. If you want to send any of your military medals and accommodations oh, to the Unsub awesome podcast. He has to wear them. He has the fucking oak that like. Feel free to send them to Angry Cops. P.O. Box 1153, Buffalo, New York. Father, they area don't code know what 14212. They do. And I'll make sure that Brandon gets them, just like he did this Purple Heart. Just picture you with this. I wonder how many Purple Hearts you can get. I don't know. You can go to donutoperator.com and my P.O. Box is there also. <laughs> <laughs> you have Brandon's back right into that moment. Yeah. You, I do have your back. Next time the backpack's going to be full. <laughs> hey, I was like, Cody's going to defend him. Send him here. Eli. Cody up. <laughs> Are we oh doing? God. Are we going on a live tour to which you can come up and give Brandon your very own medals that you earned, <laughs> and bestow them upon him in person? I need to have a medal to give him in return. <laughs> <laughs> give him a coin. Jesus Christ! Yeah, some sort of like Brandon, for just like fuck you medal. Or... Yeah, it's like a fuck you medal. It's, 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 like, a, it's a cone coin. head, but instead of the cone head, the tip is a dick, and it says thanks for being a dickhead. Mm. We should have challenge coins, unsub challenge coins. I'm working on it. Yeah, okay. I got fat electrician me. ones. I got it covered. Like a fucking gram of coke so they get arrested as soon as they walk out. <laughs> you're you're literally going to point them out to the cops. <laughs> yeah. That's this the is guy. Guy. <laughs> Brandon so just has drugs. He's like, he has drugs. He's just arrested instantly. He's like, they're fuckhead. So you're going to have to buy a lot of coke. Oh, he's Mexican. Anyways, no. come back and sit between the two cops. <laughs> <laughs> He's not coming back for a while. He's, so in, in PTSD world, we call this decompressing. Uh, he had to walk away for a moment to center himself. It's not going to work. We're still going to keep him off balance. And this I is the. This I is just the like, I was like, fuck you, Rich. <laughs> Rich is like, I'm going to bring it back. I fly you here and you open up with the hardest line in unsub history. And it's like, good. I'm going to follow that up with some funny quips about history for two hours. That'll work. <laughs> I did it to make all of you look stupid. That was the most awkward <laughs> moment in unsub history, you <laughs> dick. Wait, which one is this? Hi? Huh? Right oh. now, I'm such an asshole that I was like, I think the only way that I could ruin this is because that's kind of was like that you're playing it going into this episode well what happened was is i i was like i'm gonna give him the purple heart and what i could do is i could wait and then like in the middle of it spring it upon brandon but then in my head i was like what's funnier for me uh <laughs> fuck to, everybody else to wait <laughs> to wait in the middle of it and then spring it up so when people don't know what's going on or to immediately fuck up the entire feeling of this thing and i was like man it's gonna be really andy kaufman of me if i fuck it up right in the beginning <laughs> and then a second i thought of andy kaufman i was like well it's sold well, he, he fucking, he just quit. So now I'll say hi to angry. Yeah. We just hear a gun go off in the background. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can cut that. That was mean. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's, it's just going to be me and Nick soon. That's it. <laughs> and he's going to be so filtered with PTSD that he's not going to know what to say. It's going to be so great. Favorite no, MRE flavor, Jesus. Glock 19. Jeez. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my God. Now it's the... Oh, my God. Now it's a SIG. That's a shirt. It's just a fucking MRE. <laughs> he and it says... Yeah, it's a fucking MRE flavor, Glock 19. Now it's the... Final meal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You can, you can put a whole bunch of shit on, like, the MRE. Oh, do we have to cut be, that or do we really... Do we have to be lore correct. It's the SIG M17 now. <laughs> All you have to do is drop it. No, use the glass. <laughs> and I think that is a good shirt. That's a shirt. Do we? Do oh, we just no. make the Glock is simple? Do we put like a bottle of bourbon and the Glock? I think it's just, yeah, a, just the Glock. An actual just MRE, MRE pack. Yeah, I just see the MRE pack. There's a photo of a Glock on it, <laughs> and, and it and says flavor. Jack, like Jack Daniels and a Glock. <laughs> yes, Jack Daniels and a Glock. Jack Daniels, a Glock, and a photo of your ex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's an MRE bag, but it's like a photo of your ex. Yes. Fuck. Jody flavor, Jody, <laughs> and a Jody photograph. Oh yeah, John Deere letter. 
Dear John, yeah, John Deere. John Deere. John Deere. John Deere. Just a tractor. Just a tractor. Just a tractor. Yeah, Ma. They mowed my lawn while I was gone. You know that I put mulch out in the spring. I'm not a man anymore. Mr. Deer fucked my wife. What? I'm John Deere Green. Yeah. Great song. Yeah. Eli, have you heard about Raycon's everyday earbuds? Eli. Eli! <laughs> you must have had the noise cancellation on. I did. I couldn't hear anything. Just like I wish I couldn't feel anything. Oh, you mean these ones? Yeah. And I also thought, well, those are the same audio quality as the big guys, but for half the price. But if you haven't pulled the trigger on these little guys, do it. Plus, they have a 32-hour battery life, meaning your days of raw dogging flights are over. And 10 minutes of charging yields you 90 minutes of battery. Wait, it has a quick charge function? That's what I just f said. Also, Raycon just launched their updated models of the everyday earbuds, weatherproof and or sweat resistant. I actually use these over anything else just because they're tiny every freaking gym session. I use mine for everyday chores. Like? Ignoring the SWAT team at my door. Their upgraded model will blow you away. You're going to be asking yourself why you didn't check them out sooner. Raycon offers a 30-day happiness guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Call to action. Go to buyraycon.com slash unsub to get 15% off of your order plus free shipping. That's right, you'll get 15% off and free shipping over at buyraycon.com slash unsub. <laughs> Holy <laughs> sh Oh man, I'm glad the boys are <laughs> Fuck. This is going to be fun. So did anybody have an actual topic this I did. episode? I, mean, I, you know, know. I was going to talk back about the live shows because we, we have that, but fuck, like, this is essentially the group that will be at the shows. We're warming up to it. Uh, We're warming up to giving him the Medal of Honor. The medals are going to get progressively better at each show. Yeah, I just got to find one. <laughs> you, had, you had one in your fucking grasp and you didn't do it? No, it wasn't in my grasp. The, uh, the other... I thought you were talking to Brandon for a second. <laughs> Brandon has one in his grasp already. <laughs> do it. Take it. Do, do it. it. Do it. Do it. Do it. It's the fucking Infinity Stones of Stolen Valor. <laughs> you got, you the got fucking, like they're so, sir. There's like a Medal of Honor, Bronze uh, Star, Silver Star, star fucking, uh, a Flying Cross, iron, a yeah, Flying iron, Cross, an Iron Distinct Cross, an Iron Cross. cross. Yeah. Yeah. There's, a, there's a Flying died. Cross. Yeah. Yeah. There's a There's an Air Force Flying Cross. Yeah, I know. Yeah, fucking not everything's about okay. German. Okay, von Schwernickel. I'm the one that said I, Iron in his defense. Oh. Maybe you just thought it was wrinkly. His people love doing laundry. Your people. Shit. Asian joke went. I gave it to the wrong guy. It's okay. It's okay. No, Stolen you. valor. Ah, so sorry. What the? F was that Asian? Nah, it's bad. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just trying to make everybody feel bad about themselves. Yeah, the, that you should feel bad about yourself. Certain, that. You know what? <laughs> I think, I think the malt liquor in this White Claw is starting to get to me because I'm really really trying to pick a fight with that person. Rich just chose violence today. Yeah. It's been like six months. I've been pent up. I've been like, I'm going to let all these guys have it with both barrels. It's coming. We it's fucking coming. like each other, just I wait. swear. I, I, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah. Rich, it, it, we just go calms black. You don't get an invite to any of the live shows. You know, just turn off as well. He's like, okay. It's all right. Angry meme review was entirely his idea. Came from nowhere. Yeah, thanks, PewDiePie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> to be fair, PewDiePie stole it from somebody else, too. Yeah, I know. Yeah, okay. Are you trying to make me feel bad about me? No, I'm just saying, like, I'm trying to let you know where you are on the, the oh, no. fucking, you know, chow line. Listen, if we start a meme war, I already know where to get your purple heart, so you're fine. <laughs> I'm never going to live this. That's so great. This is a moment in my life that I've been waiting for that I didn't know I needed. I didn't know I needed this moment. All right, I'm sorry. What else are we talking about? <laughs> I don't know. You guys, like, I'm like, let's talk about the live shows. We'll go right back to this. Do you think you're going to wear it to a live show? <laughs> <laughs> Buffalo. Oh, I, ha I can't. I'm not going to say it. I have another gift. When are you going to move? Not yet. Soon? Settle down, Daddy. Uh, I'm just <laughs> you got it. God damn. I, I have a gift. It's for you guys and the, the audience. audience. is really good when you knock every time you talk. Yeah. It helps. <laughs> no, keep doing it. The ground Jews are coming up. <laughs> I can hear them speaking Yiddish underneath me. Um, <laughs> no, no! The louder it gets, the better my credit score is. <laughs> 
I thought they were burning. Gold. I thought they were burrowing underneath Lebanon, but they're here. I can, I can feel it. And my blood pulses <laughs> with this. With the, it's, <laughs> my pagers begun to vibrate. Yes, it's, you're just like sitting there. You're like, they're coming. They're coming. It's just like uh, sting is glowing yellow. Yep, but yellow. The Asians are coming. No, no, it was a Lord, <laughs> of the, Lord of the Rings reference. No, I know. That's why blue. I said they're coming. I know. It'd be glowing. It'd be gold. If his shoes would be glowing green. Gold. 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 Yellow. Gold. Stop. Yeah, for gold. I was. Yellow. I said green for money. Yeah, that I was, was just trying to play in the stereotype too. I get you. It's fine. That's okay. But yeah, I, ha I have a gift <laughs> um, that I'll be giving everybody, including the audience, not chlamydia, not again, uh, when we go to Buffalo. Wait, the entire audience? I like mm -hmm. how much it's a gift for everybody. It's like it's um <laughs> it's more of a spectacle. But it will be, it will be there. There's a couple things. There's a couple things I'm going to do for the Buffalo show to make it special. That's the one you're we're excited not, for. We're not That's going it. to Buffalo. <laughs> we just cancel that. <laughs> Nick's not going to Buffalo. I just rip up the, I'm the on, contract. I'm on board. Uh, we just cancel Buffalo. <laughs> I'll just show up to Buffalo. I just don't know. They'd be like, I, you guys signed the contract. Uh, nope. We toss it. We toss it. Well, I'll tell you one of the things that, I, that I'm going to do, because it doesn't need to be a secret. So one of the things I'm going to do for the Buffalo show, just to make it special, is I'm going to bring the Merv. And I think we oh, might yeah. we yeah. might have a couple. We might bring a couple Merv. <clears throat> and there's going to be a bunch of free booze on the outside. It's Rich, what, what is the Merv? Here? Oh, the Merv is the morale response vehicle, the MRV. And it's a fire truck that my friend and I bought. And instead of spraying minorities. <laughs> It's it's almost old enough to do that. <laughs> one of one of them one of I've got I've got three now. One of them might have actually been there. <laughs> one, of, one of them may have definitely been at a university in New York and was just like, not today. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Educate somewhere else. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that could very well happen. But it's giving back. It's making up for it. It learned from its previous mistakes. And if we learned anything from this unsubscribed podcast, it's that we all make mistakes and should be forgiven. I hope. Uh, so we're going to have the Merv, which is a fire truck that it's not even decommissioned, but we turned into a party tailgating mobile to get everybody hammered. And it's working out great. How did, you acquire it? How did you acquire a not decommissioned fire truck? So the full story is... <laughs> Stole that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Common <gear. laughs> So my buddy has uh, a couple daughters. They go to uh, Girl Scouts. And they're having the Girl Scout meeting at a volunteer fire company. And the dads got together. And while the girls are doing their scout thing, the dads are hanging out. And one of the dads is uh, one of the volunteer firemen from that fire company. And he's showing the other dads around, my buddy. And... You know, they're looking at the fire trucks and my buddy just being a wheeler and dealer and always, you know, kind of smart and quick with something to say. It's just like, hey, you know, can I buy that one? And he, the fireman is like, actually, that one and that one are both for sale. And so the and that one, the second one was a 1991 back fire truck that is a pump. So it had a 15,000 gallon tub in the back and then it also pumps. And by pumping, you park it. You drop the transmission into the pump mode so it's no longer in drive. You hit the gas and just and it just pumps out a whole bunch of water. Then eventually you can connect to a, a hydrant while you're spraying the stuff in the back. So he's like, how much you selling it for? And the guy's like, I don't know. Let me ask somebody. He immediately texts me. And this is how like him and I are super tight. We went through two deployments together. He just goes, do you want to buy a fire truck with me? And I just said, Yes, that was it. <laughs> that was it. And, and I it's knew. Like text threads, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> and Just I knew the money. He was gonna be like, "I'm in the middle of purchasing a fire truck. <laughs> I need some cash. Are you down?" And immediately, I was like, "Yes." And in that yes was, "We'll figure out how much it costs and we'll make it work." And so a couple minutes goes by and we're back and forth and that I'm like, send me some photos. He sends me some photos. I'm like, holy shit, that thing's great. And then I finally I go like, "How much?" He goes, "They want seven grand for it." Hold on, it's it's got a Cummins uh, diesel. diesel engine, twelve thousand miles. Jesus Christ! Brand new tires. The tires are expensive. Brand new tires. 
and I think it's called an Allison transmission. So it's like, yeah. So like the, the Cummins and the Allison transmission together oh, are like worth more than seven grand. Bro. Yeah. yeah. So it's, yeah. You, you were expecting like 80, 90 grand, something like that. No, like, I'm, I'm, like, 40, I know, 40, I know 40, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just they're expensive. super hard to maintain. And by hard to maintain, I mean, once something goes on it, it's expensive as fuck. So I was like, it's probably going to be around the teens, maybe low twenties. And he was like, they want seven grand. And I was like, sweet. Uh, sounds very doable. And he goes, I think I can talk him down to five. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> An hour and a half later, $3,500. Oh, shit. Yeah, I just put the bill for it. I was like, you did all the legwork. Keep doing the legwork. Handshake it in bullshit. So What's your friend's was, last name? It was stolen. What's that? <clears throat> What's your friend's last name? Belusky. Powerish. Very sneaky. Very sneaky. Very sneaky. sneaky. Ah, you Polish guy. You know, the Germans come in on you why one is, time. Why is the peanut gallery laughing? <laughs> Very sneaky. Jimmy. Dude, he's, no, he's not Jewish. He's not Jewish, but he's the, he's the Polish. You know, the, the Russians, you know, the Germans, they come in and they try to sneak up on Polish one time. No more. <laughs> now the Polish are very sneaky. They see the sneak and they don't let the sneak happen to them. Now they do the sneak to other people. Yeah, once, once your country doesn't exist for 50 years of the, you know, 20th century. Yep. You know, it's a fool me once kind of moment. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. They yeah. didn't George Bush this. Fool me twice. Sh sh you you shame, shame on me. <laughs> yeah. Shame on me. Rich. So, yeah. So, no, no, no. I was going to say, since you've gotten that fire truck, what have you installed on it? Um, oh, I can't say that joke. Okay. <laughs> Man, I thought it was a very inappropriate joke. And I can't. I don't that is amazing. Book. Send it. Send it. Nope. Yeah, we send can delete it. it. Well, you know, after we walk. Nope. 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 <laughs> no, right, okay. I keep it. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Burn him to the ground. <laughs> Send it. <laughs> yeah, break his leg. <laughs> this guy's stoking the calls. Like, say it, Richard. Say it. Why do we clip that? That's weird. <laughs> so, we got it in 2019, right before COVID. So we call it the Merv 19. You know, Morale Response Vehicle 19, because we got it in 2019, and we didn't think we were going to get any more. Just tricks, jokes on us. We got more. So. We start renovating it and it took a lot of it was us working on it by ourselves. We took the basin out of the back that held the 15,000 gallons. We replaced it with a dance floor. Yeah, it's, dude, it's phenomenal for parades. Dude, you get on the back of that thing. We're trying if the Buffalo Bills ever win the freaking Super Bowl or the Buffalo Sabres ever win the cup. It's perfect for getting guys hammered on it because not only is there like this big dance floor slash like I guess float uh, stand that you can stand on the back of it, but there's uh, along the side of the truck where you would like open up this big storage container. Instead of tools, it's two open, two full bars, stocked, and a television that has a Nintendo 64. Hell yeah! Mario Kart. Are you doing drunk Mario Kart races and Super Smash? Super Smash Bros. I know. Nice. So I was like, what are two games that you know people can play for like three or four minutes that they're not like they don't have to get sucked into? I was like, Super Smash Bros. and Mario Kart. You play one what? or two levels. What are the rules on drinking and driving on a fire truck? If it's up for a parade, you can do it in the back, just not the oh, driver, okay. right? So like different Yeah, no, parades. obviously the driver can't, you know, but if you're in the back. Yeah, the driver can't yeah. during the parade. It's a Catholic off. fire truck. So <laughs> do it in the back. Just do it in the back. It doesn't count. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. But we is usually, that how it works, Connor? We usually need <laughs> a driver. Legally speaking. Dude, yeah, I'm telling you. Uh, you're I just like yes. in a clip of this. It's like, can't. And it's yeah. like, Buffalo Police. For God doesn't care around the back. Right. Got it. We just actually got a uh, shout out to um, Sound Off and 1075 Lights, who hooked us up with a brand new light system and rewired almost the entire truck free. Holy they're like, shit. We have a 501c3 that like, we take care of veterans with it, right? Veterans and first responders. If you want to get on the truck and you want to go get hammered at a Bills game, that's what we want to do. Because the whole premise behind the truck to be, you know, squishy and feely was there's so many when, because of my channel and, you know, and stuff like this where we're getting taken care of, delicious, where we're getting taken care of, of like the veteran and first responder community I wanted to give back, but I don't give a shit about college education. And there's already things to get you know, like take care of families if they lose yeah. a loved one or if they get sick or if something happens replace your car and so when i was you know 17 through like 24 and i was still serving i was like i just want to get drunk and just not worry about it so that's what the merv is is we just get first responders and veterans hammered off of our 501c3 not for profit and ta-da yeah, dude it's, uh, the, was, it's the morale vehicle yeah, yeah you actually you gave like a a couple grand to us to help us out with it it was huge because yeah. We like, I hadn't made it big anywhere yet, and it was a really big hand, not a handout. That sounds rude. Um, 
a really it's big a show. Up. A hand up. A uh, hand up? Is it? Is it? Yeah. Hand job, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I give, it's I give a, you a hand job. Either way, you stroked me, and uh, <laughs> that's and something I, I truly feel would actually make a difference because that is the positive influence. Yes, alcohol. You're like, well, you can argue both ways, yeah. but it's still that's a community, and that is. All right, everybody. Mm, yep. Cheers. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But that, at the end of the day, what uh, a lot of veteran community needs is that is mm -hmm. a social network that you can... You don't have to drink. No, it's just a just reason to hang out. And it's the message yeah. that people actually give a fuck about you. Yeah. Like, yeah. People that understand you give a fuck about you. And wait, uh, what, did, what is the 501c? The 501c3, the name is uh, Western New York... Uh, KIA Memorial Ruck March, which my, it's my friend's 501c3. And every year in August, we do a Memorial Ruck March. I think it's 10K. And there's a group event and a singular person event, and there's obstacles and stuff like that. And I do it every year with them. Uh, and yeah, it gives back to the food bank, the Veteran Food Bank of Buffalo. And it also uh, assists in like the veteran non for profit, assisting other like veterans throughout the thing. I forget where all the money goes. To like different ways to help out veterans in the it specifically, it, it specifically, it's just for Western helps, New York, but it it's helps. just for our guys. Like we keep it small, so then we know where the money is going, and we know that the other organizations that we give money to, that's where the money is going. It's not like the Red Cross, where like sixty percent of it goes to paying the people that no. run the Red Cross. Well, and that's what I'm saying. Like we have November, we're doing an entire month or we're figuring it out right now to donate to yeah. uh nonprofits because again like the autism awareness month we're going to do that for veterans day but we're just going to turn into a month with a fucked up few shirts mm -hmm. that we are going to collaborate on and then uh raise that money maybe do a live stream but then find <gasps> multiple you you can come down for that multiple uh 501c's to donate to for that because Something like that, yeah, it's not gonna be. We're not gonna be like, Rich, here's a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> That'd be, be like, what the fuck am I doing in this? Well, oh, I know what I do with it. <laughs> we have 13. <laughs> God damn it. Can I? We need to make a shirt for Veterans Day, and it says, This is my purple heart shirt, and it should have a purple heart on it. Or just like an empty, oh, like, good. you know, the scissor cutout where it's just yeah. like segmented lines. I've always wanted to not sell shirts. <laughs> 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 did you want to feel like Brandon <laughs> did for the first 20 minutes of this podcast? <laughs> buy that fucking shirt. What yeah. recommend it? <laughs> Didn't buy it? Wear it to Walk Chili's. <laughs> yeah, no one's going to. Or that's what happens. You can be like. It. I get free food on Veterans Day if I wear this. This no, is my free food shirt. <laughs> Applebee's is awesome. <laughs> Applebee's Combat Tour 2024. <laughs> but that is something where it's like donating a small portion of that. And then I, we talked about it right now. It's uh, just we're all donating just quick money to um, the Her shit that's going on. Yeah. yeah. Hurricane right now because... Mama, Mama Donut. That like that's the stuff that people get irritated. At. You're like, holy fuck, what's going on? We're all donating, to dude. That thingy. Yeah. When you made your tweet with the photo of your uh, you and your mother, and you're like, you know, mom's having some hard times because of the hurricane down <laughs> the Carolinas. There are some pieces of shit that talk some smack underneath that comment. So you can go fuck yourself. Hey, there Cody. were people in there that were like, well, I hope your mom dies. Dude, dude there are people. Hey, Cody's sending this to the <laughs> group chat of the stuff he gets, and this is again for a. Like you, however you fall, wherever it is. Hey, money should be tax money should be spent there, and we won't do politics because I fucking hate it. This is a break from politics. We never do politics on yeah. the podcast. Yeah, not with the guy that ran for the politics <laughs> with his purple heart. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> but Brandon never talked about policy or anything. Yeah, we like, kept that straight. We, we talked about the fact that I was running, and like, because there's a lot of crazy shit that happens that goes along with it that I think people find pretty interesting. Like paying the Jews for the weather control device. <laughs> It was, the, it, Taylor was the, Green. it was the space laser. <laughs> the space laser. <laughs> yeah. No, but but like legitimately, that was one of the things I was I, I talked about. Is like, look, dude, you can say that other things are important, like things that are in you know widespread geopolitics that you like. Oh well, I really believe in this thing. I'm like, yeah, but if you're paying if you're paying uh, taxes in the United States, I feel like a lot of that should go to Americans first. If we have problems here. Let's fix the. Let's fix those here first before we go overseas and start fixing the world's problems. Let's fix our own. It's kind of if, like if you're breaking this down, it is me going like, right in. You're struggling. I'm gonna give my money to this autistic charity though. I'll take care of you later, my son. Yeah. You'd be like, what? that's fucked up, daddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, daddy, I do not daddy. like this, daddy. Yeah. I am starving. Yeah. Daddy, where is my PlayStation? He's like, shut up. We'll other, get back to that. Other kids are getting your PlayStation. I don't like. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, please do it. He's, Hold he's, up the hands now. Finish your joke. <laughs> so, before, before I can yell no, 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 right. the joke. I love his son. His son's great. And this is out of love. Um, like, <laughs> I've seen this. You went out and put him back down. I was like, there's where Rich. <laughs> and no, I'm not doing I, that. Because I love you too. And so, like, it's out of love. It's just like, Daddy, I don't want those boys to have my PlayStation. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Why are they playing that? I do not want to play with them. I do not like that, Daddy. No. Hey, Eli! <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> You're just filing taxes. Well, that's not what my taxes look like, but either way, I'm here to talk to you about ExpressVPN. Why are you here? Oh, I see you're using incognito mode. Did you know incognito mode won't hide what kind of taxes you're filing? What, what do you mean? It doesn't matter what mode you use or how many times you clear your browsing history. Your internet service provider can still see every website you've ever visited. Do you want people to know these are the kinds of taxes you're filing, Eli? Wait, are you in my house? What makes you ask that? <laughs> it doesn't matter if you get your internet through Verizon or AT&T or your local internet service provider. In the U.S., internet service providers can legally sell your information to ad companies. Leave me alone! Were the taxes I sent you not good enough for you, Eli? I don't want to see your taxes. Just visit the link at expressvpn.com slash unsub and you can get three months free on a one-year package. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash unsub. Protect your online activity today with the VPN rated number one by CNET and Mashable. That's expressvpn.com slash unsub to learn more. That was fucked up though, man. All, all, I, all I said was like, my sick mom doesn't have power and I wish that my tax money went to, you know, help these people instead of other countries. Yeah. And people like, dude, people share like, I hope your mom dies. Like, I hope she's a piece of shit. Like, fuck you. Fuck you. Well, I can't like, I don't fathom think, that. I don't, I don't think that's like a bad thing to say that uh, I uh, won't. Read one. Read one, Cody. Like, pull one up. Yeah. Because this, if you, this is. <laughs> Cody reading them verbatim. And it's not like one sentence like, fuck you, dog. It well, is. It's not like, Cody, I don't think you understand the issue. Maybe it's nuanced because X, Y, and Z, they're like, I hope your mom dies in a hole. It's like, what the fuck, dude? Nick, like, can what? you tell us how much money uh, Europe has given to the United States in our hurricane efforts? Yeah, I can't. No. It's I'm zero. It's Thank zero. you, Nick. Zero fucking dollars. <laughs> Thank you. So, you know, when we give all the money over to Europe and we don't get anything back, maybe some people are rightfully questioning why all the money goes over there not here you ready you want to read read one uh, <laughs> yeah. praying her power comes back so i can fuck her like the fat pig she is your mom's a whore i hope your mom's as good at swimming as she is sucking <laughs> your mom's poopy ass yummy yum which that's kind of funny <laughs> I, I was about to i was like mm -hmm. oh, yeah. it sounds like Wah, these gentlemen. my <laughs> mom's heart when shut up this is that's again like, that's one, one person like that's one hundred one person and your just, mom is one of the nicest fucking people i've ever met like, I mean, she's she a sweetheart so dude nice. yeah we, i mean that kind of explains why they all want to fornicate with her <laughs> jesus christ she is the sweetest human it's we all know cody's mom's voice cody cody how you say cody cody, cody. i'm just <laughs> Cody's just, just, just so nice. He's, he's the just, sweetest he's just the boy. Nice, oh, nice Cody boy. was young. Oh my god! The first <laughs> I time, love Cody's mom so much. She is just a doll. Just one of the greatest humans ever. The first time I met her on the range, she got excited. She's like, "Oh my god, you're angry cops! My husband <laughs> loves you." And I was like, "Who are you, Southern biscuit lady?" <laughs> oh, I I feel like you. Wait, what? Put oh, honey on grits? Yeah. Who are you? She's like, "Oh, I'm Cody's mom." I'm like, "Yeah, you are. Yes, you are. You're I'm everybody's mom. Cow. You're everybody's mom now." And then I hugged her, and uh, and I think you know a little part of me got to live on that day. Dude, she she takes care of like for reference everyone out there. If you want a sweet like representation of how sweet she is, this is an individual that has adopted all our children. Mm -hmm. Like she has, I have text. She's like, I'm now their grandma. I was like, that's cool because 
They don't have grandmas on my side. So fuck yeah. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. She, she stays in contact. She just wants to watch and help. And then when she comes out, she's just an amazing human. Amazing yeah. human. I don't know. I feel like a little bit of that is selfish, knowing that like all her grandkids are going to be super successful because the kid, <laughs> you know. <laughs> like, oh, wait, wait, what happened to the poor grandkids? Like, what are we talking about? You know what I mean? Like, Nick's kids. You know? Just their girl. All right, Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> He's, you know, a blue collar guy feeding his children gruel and starving them. I've seen the social media posts, Nick. You're a horrible father. I know. But she doesn't claim your kids, does she? Nope. Wow. <laughs> doesn't like the Midwest. There's always been that divide between second Big Ten. Well, you know, his kids are, you know, named after anti slavers. <laughs> so there's a there's a there's a bit of a culture that? barrier. But yeah. <laughs> I just, I just pictured him looking at his wife after each of their kids are born, going, "Are they like me?" <laughs> <laughs> but we both know this body doesn't run. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because Hannah's a hundred percent Guatemalan, and my kids came out pale as fuck. Oh man, yes, I love did. watermelon. The nurses did not think it was funny when I looked at Hannah and went. You're running out of printer ink. <laughs> You're really oh, pale. Oh, <laughs> god damn. Holy oh, shit. That's so good. <laughs> that's your greatest movement. <laughs> moment. Like, right there. That's it. That's also what he told Hannah. <laughs> This is your greatest moment. Oh my gosh! If you're not you're a part of a biracial eat. family and you don't steal that joke, what kind of dad are you? That's the that's that's a very unique and very good dad joke. Oh, <laughs> it's not often. I wow, that was good. Also, Maybe. I love you, Hannah. Please don't hold that joke against me. Oh, that's good. so good, Hannah. Your commercials are the only reason why I watch this channel. I get that a lot. Those are pretty fun. Delete. <laughs> yeah. No. The, I, got, the, I got the, the so the new studio. I sent you pictures. It's it's bigger now. Yeah, it's so well, gross. So I have the I have the original tax write off couch, but I I put it on caster wheels. So how many hands gonna wheel the couch in with guns <laughs> on it for the delete me ads? That's fucking. Gross. <laughs> it's gonna be fantastic. God, I love everyone's brain is so different <laughs> on how they operate on how they're gonna make money or make just. <laughs> make people happy and laugh <laughs> the write off couch what are you guys gonna do in order to uh, you know take advantage of your woman and make her pay for stuff Nick's got a good idea I mean I, you don't I let her about, vote you might as well let her make you know I pick up the tab I thought about having a Mrs. Fat Electrician OnlyFans but it was just gonna be like a six hour video of me reading the bible <laughs> just to see how many people subscribed <laughs> I have uh, this is gonna be a weird story no go for it I have very nice feet Jesus oh my God! Right, so, just so okay. we just pause. No, what size? Pause no, fuck because it. I want to know. We, zo we have a thread in there where I zoomed in on your fucking high heels. I was like, bro, yeah, you can literally just screenshot. I was like, just sell these. I forget what you were wearing. Was it a kilt or no? It's I was. It was um, it was a charity event, and it had a style, and the style was animal print. And so I was wearing snakeskin uh, button-down shirt and snakeskin shorts, printed, not actual snakeskin. Because everybody uh, that was at the first Unsub Live show in San Antonio knows what happens when he's in a kilt. That's true. You get to see my brown eye, and both of these <laughs> things are blue, so you know which one I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, I've got like nice feet, and I've I've been asked to, and also thought about. Uh, possibly starting a feet finders but not being like angry mm -hmm. cops feet but like shaving my feet because you wouldn't be able to know if they're a man of or course woman's they're feet hairy. yeah of course no, you, you, you Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah right I put my friend's shoes on and, uh, and I was uh, like Chase I'm sending this to you like if you, if if you, you know just, it's the painted you, nails that do dude, it for that, me exactly yeah. you go like this you, you have no what? fucking clue and then you go like this and you're like That's <laughs> dude <laughs> ironically I felt shame because I looked so gay I was, I was like at first it was fun it was like I had to joke I look kind of gay you know like whatever I'm confident in myself and oh, then no, I saw I'm the really photos good at this. the following day <laughs> and I was like ooh ooh I look unironically gay I look like just just I yeah, just look like a gay dude. You have moments like that where you're just joking around, then you look at the photo and you're like, damn, maybe I missed my calling. <laughs> nah, I couldn't suck a dick to save my life. I got horrible <laughs> gag reflex. <laughs> Unless you're into that. It'd, just be, it'd be bad. I'd be crying Anybody who time. knows, uh, anybody who's seen uh, Let Him Cook knows I have a terrible gag reflex. <laughs> oh, I didn't even get it fucking out. <laughs>
He is. Just stri- oh, you're going to be there. Oh, <laughs> everyone's going to oh, be there. Oh, are we Sunday. doing that tomorrow? Sunday. Sunday. What, are we making some bad food? No, it's uh, tomorrow. It's the, tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Okay, never mind. I'm yeah. the prairie tomorrow. oyster. Uh, it's Balls? The, no. Excuse not me? The, uh, prairie oysters. Prairie balls. oysters. Sounds. No, it's the. Uh, oh. Mountain oysters balls. What's a prairie oyster? Mountain oyster. Rocky, yeah. Yeah, oysters. Rocky Mountain oyster. oyster. Thank Rocky you. Mountain oysters yeah. bowl balls. It's yeah. balls, yeah. 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 Prairie oyster is like it's a, it's a first raw egg. You've had balls in your mouth. <laughs> it's a raw egg. Or like a, an egg yolk. It is egg. So it's the cowboy shot. So it is to get rid of the um, hangover. Hangover. So it's uh, salt, pepper, a some a splash hot of sauce. hot sauce. Yep. Is Worcestershire. It? Worcestershire. And what is the um, whiskey choice? Is it whiskey? It's gin. Gin. Gin, gin. gin yeah. to get gin. rid of a hangover? What are we, a British? What cowboy's doing gin? Yeah. I agree the, with the that. The prairie oyster. Oh, yeah, prairie oyster. oyster. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I had to take a fat piss real quick. I could hear it. All right, what's in the prairie oyster? Your stream hitting the side of the bowl was masculine. Thank that you. hog. I could yeah. smell the testosterone from here. Yeah. I just got tested for testosterone. Turns out I still have it. Nice. Good. That's good. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. not like a yes or no okay. question. But this like, is yeah. really good. I like, grew out of it. Just take a break. <laughs> That's actually really fucking good. That's good. That is good. I like that. That's tomorrow. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah, so good. he breaks down the Joker? No, that's on our episode. Yeah, we talked about it. Smidge. Oh, I, I love watching Nerd Roddick, man. That dude. He's, he's here funny. in San Antonio. Oh, he's based out of San Antonio. Well, because yeah. Texas doesn't have income tax, right? I don't think that's why he's here, but yeah, he's, that's he's, not he's of, local. I've never asked that here. question. <laughs> Bro, you live here because of this. I mean, that's never a good asked. business move, right? Yeah, yeah thank it's you. A great, it's a great business move. What, is he move? on the fucking run again? Huh? What? Because he was. Oh, dr- he was yeah, jailed. Yeah, yeah he was. Because he prison. Yeah, he was in prison. Was he? Yeah. 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 It's kind fuck. of his whole shtick. Yeah. Yeah. With you, yeah. yeah. No, I mean, okay. I'm not saying there's like a dig on him. It was no, just. I got yeah. it. Oh, you're trying to. I see what you're trying to do. You're trying no, to purple heart me. Holy shit! No, you can't no, purple no, heart me. Not that extreme. I'll find you can't a way. Purple heart me. Rich, are you gonna be on my cooking show tomorrow? Yeah, I'm gonna be there tomorrow. Fuck yeah, yeah, dude. What are we eating? Just add more tomato biscuit and grilled cheese sandwiches. Tomato. <gasps> yeah, it's, it's soup season, dude. God, that's it's October. So me a soup season. I, we were asking that, I think, the other day at the Should gym. It's like, I don't know what Cody's cooking. We'll just ask him. But are you going to make the grilled cheese on a waffle iron? So it no. Soup? What? Cody, make, a, wait, what is the show hold about? On, whoa, whoa, whoa. We fucking breezed over that way too fast. That makes what? sense. Grilled cheese on grilled cheese a waffle iron? Yeah, so and that way it holds more soup. It's got pockets. Wait, I'm really confused. Uh, pockets. You're mad at how I'm fucking genius that is. I'm not mad. I'm I just mean, I'm exploring that in my mind. That's actually fucking neat. Yeah. No, we're just making grilled cheese. Because the basis of my cooking show is it's simple shit that costs like ten dollars and you can feed eight people. And you and the bullshit that goes around it. Yeah. Kind of like what Burt Kreischer does, but instead of you know, Burt laughing like a mad animal <laughs> and making up stories about his daughter saying the weirdest things that definitely happened. Yeah. That's my Burt Kreischer. Well, Man, Burt Kreischer, really? you almost came on the podcast. <laughs> no, I'm here. Right. Yeah. Right. I'm, I'm, he I'm was just, just he's like, Man, no, I'm going to watch one it's more fine. episode, and I'm going to go What was his home. podcast? This Two one. Bears, One Dolphin? Or what? Two Bears, <laughs> One Cave? Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, one mind. Dolphin. Pretty sure the, the internet collectively decided at once randomly that they just hated Burt Kreischer. Which I don't uh, get. No, it was, what, it was, was it? I know the exact second. It was the exact second that Burt and... Uh, Tom got in a competition to see who could give each other the most expensive gift. Yeah. And Tom ended up giving Bert Hitler's teacup. I yes. Which I hated. That, that was that hilarious. Caused, that, I thought that was fucking but funny. I don't think that caused the hatred, though. That cannot. Because, no, that's hysterical. Yeah. <laughs> I, that, I, laughed, I laughed. I laughed. It was like, I, 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 th- I, I think it got to the point where they're like giving each other like expensive sports cars and shit. And it was like, it was like, jet okay, skis and yeah. things like that. But at, well, at the same time, I think it was the moment when people started making compilations of all the jokes that they stole. Oh, I haven't seen those. Oh, what? yeah, I saw a couple where it was like, uh, it's like stolen jokes and jokes that were like. You got to be careful with stolen jokes because sometimes you do the same premise in a different way. And, and honestly, the way that people put out like, oh, this happened and then that happened. I don't I don't believe the Internet's timeline of history without like some legitimate backup. Also, like the fact That's that he just job. makes shit up. Well, you're just supposed to. You're a comedian. Yeah. I could care less. Well, th- that he plays it off as if as if it was real, and I'm not. I'm not casting shakes. What a comedian like does. It. You think that every single story that I tell you is real? It I is. thought so. It is. I thought it was real. It I'll leave. I live a. I was wondering what caused that hatred towards him. I because I don't success. 
I think that people saw him and they decided that um, you ever, like when an artist does like a white canvas or tapes a banana to a wall and says it's art and then people get like in an outrage. You're like, that doesn't make me think about anything. That's just bullshit. Is they saw him and they were like, you I do the same up. thing that looks too easy. Fuck you. you. There's something fake about you. And they decided to turn on him. I've seen him live um, before his movie came out in Buffalo and his entire set was hysterical. Really? I got asked by um, Helium Comedy Club. They had like a uh, an usher come up to me and they were like, if you don't stop, we're going to have to ask you to leave because I was laughing out loud so much and oh, I shit. loved it. I was a little, uh, I had a couple drinks too, but <laughs> so I, it could have been nah. a little louder than I needed to be when I was laughing, but I was, I was honestly laughing my balls off, but they were like, Hey, you need to just kind of tone it down a little bit because your laughs like interrupting the show. If you don't, we're gonna have to ask you to leave. And I was like, my bad, but it was that funny where I was, I was guffawing. I was like mm, knee yeah. slapping, like Bwah! cause he was on, on fire. If you don't like Burt Kreischer, see him live. And then you're going to change your mind. That's just it. Don't I, ignore the f internet hype. He's fucking hysterical. That's, that's going to be my new line. If you don't like unsubscribe, pay money to see us live. <laughs> On the stolen valor. Tour. And, then, and if you still don't like us, then we have your money. Yeah. So what are you going to do? <laughs> Punch a purple heart recipient? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> or the other one? Or the other one. Yeah. yeah. The, the brown one. <laughs> <laughs> His purple heart's lame. Not as cool. Yeah, definitely. Brandon got the good one. Fuck you guys, man. Yeah, we got yours in the lost and found. You got the little thing in the middle. My lost you mine. Got the brown cluster. You want to trade? So <laughs> this. I'm sorry, that's yours. I shouldn't say that. It's not mine. Huh? I didn't fuck it. This thing comes out. That's a shield. That's not burnt in. That's an actual separate unit altogether. What? What is that? I don't. It's a little like, shield in there. I don't know what it's for. But that is. Wait, why isn't yours? Yours Hold on, or Eli? Who who's on a purple heart? Who is that? George Washington. It's George. It's George. Yeah. No, that's the guy that invented peanut butter. Uh, George Washington <laughs> Carver. <laughs> How racist of you! You don't, you don't think of the guy who invented it's be, the it's recipe be a, a for white peanut butter on the purple heart? Really, Jake? George Washington Carver. What is it, George? Yeah, it's George Washington Carver on there. It's a fucking recipe. You can't invent peanut butter. You didn't invent. The idea to mash nuts into a paste. <laughs> I don't know. If you can invent tiramisu, you could invent peanut butter. The, all right. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry that your culinary expertise is peanut butter and fluff. Are we gonna, yeah, I know what fluff okay, is. We gotta stop because my brain's actually getting into the philosophical point of this. Go on. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, did it? Did you invent electricity or did you discover electricity? Did Paula Dean invent <laughs> biscuits and gravy? Like, <laughs> she discovered biscuits and gravy. No, but she did make them taste better with her racism. What is the difference between a discovery and a, and a creation? That was the splash that mattered. A little bit. That's that's the southern charm right there. That's what that's why deep fried south the southern anything is great. Meemaw called it love. <laughs> well, you know, but not. It, it was why was love bleeped out? Because it was the N word. <laughs> With a hard R. Look where my grandmother made fried love, chicken. Love with a hard R. Yeah. <laughs> love her. It's like love on the spectrum, but it's love with a hard R. And it's a black guy marrying a white woman, and her dad's racist. TLC's going to love that. Or the you history channel. You beat me channel. to the joke. I had the same fucking love with love on the spectrum joke in my mind brewing. That's because we're, we both tried out for the second season. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, you brilliant. <laughs> Do you want to play with our trucks? It's a great joke, Rich. When I, I keep going. I watched it, uh, and by watched it, <laughs> I mean I watched a clip of uh, Love on the Spectrum, and it was a girl with Down syndrome and a kid who either had, I think he was autistic, and the girl with Down syndrome, not very talkative, but she was like kind of you know chilling, whatever. And the guy that was autistic was just like, "We have cheeseburgers. Do you like cheeseburgers? I." love cheeseburgers and it that was like the entire thing was him just being like do you like this and she'd go yeah and then him going that's great i also love this other thing do you like this other thing yeah he's like that's great and he would just kept going like that and i was like i can't watch this <laughs> i can't watch any more of this i love how over the over the course of 50 years we went from like not believing that autistic people existed to Everyone. treating them like fucking ant farm 
What? Where we just like have them like in a fucking oh like love on the spectrum yeah, like just, just watching like them this. on Netflix like oh look at them they're cute poke them make them do the thing. The thing let me tell you something I've made um, I make jokes about everybody and I've made some autistic jokes I think you've been aware of them, uh, Nick, and <laughs> not to insult your people. Okay. And I had I've had a couple of people come up to me and be like. So what do you mean? This is what autistic people are like? I'm like, well, I mean, autism's like on a massive spectrum. Like you can have guys that are just like really good at math and, you know, enjoy focusing on one thing. And then you can have guys that, you know, need assistance throughout their entire life. I go, but if it's the guys that are really good at math, I mean, you still go out and get them hammered and then make fun of them because they can't pick up girls because they're too busy talking about the calorie intake of what a Mick Ultra has compared to a Bud Light. And that's fucking funny. And they're like, no, it's not. And I'm like, well, fuck off, you know, because I think that is funny. We've had uh, as long as you're well intentioned, I think everything's funny. Oh yeah. shit, I'm in trouble. No, I, I will say my favorite part of Cody. I don't know if we can keep <laughs> this in. <laughs> you're just like uh, I fucking hate I'm just, I, I gotta keep somebody down. You know what I mean? I gotta keep somebody down. I can't be the you know. That's still one of my favorite. It's not even a joke because it was just a real story. What's when that? we were in Charleston, uh, back in like 2020. During the summer of love, you yep. we went on that vacation. You're just like, oh yeah, these are like the things that are on my fucking Spotify playlist right now. Just because, like, you know, when I arrest people and I take their cars, this is what they're listening to. Yes, my favorite. He asked me what my favorite song is, and I was or something like. This. He's like, oh, what do you listen to right now? I go, usually my favorite song is whatever I'm towing the car to. Because I, I just figure out what's hot on the street this way. Yeah, because I'll tow the car. Well, they're going to jail, obviously. And then I'm towing <laughs> the car. And then, you know, the radio goes on. And I'm just like, oh, what's this? And then I'll hit um, Shazam. I'll find out who the artist is. And then I'll put it on my Spotify playlist. And it's things that like... His Chrysler 300 playlist. Blacked out. <laughs> well, that's why I listen to rap now. Black on black. Well, when I was arresting someone, I'd ask them what they want to listen to on the way to jail. And you then, were, yeah, and so I, I would start listening. Like I would just put their music yeah, on. Yeah, it's never Keith like, Urban. I'd be like, damn, I'm gonna jam <laughs> to this all night now. Mm -hmm. It's because you weren't policing in Florida, dude. It's gotten me a lot of friends. Like that, that music <laughs> knowledge. I'll so I'll go. I'll take the Merv to uh, Bill's tailgates, and I'll blast the music because the thing's got speakers on it that pump, and. <laughs> I'll, there'll be like a playlist that I'll put on of like some songs that you know that I like and you want you know R&B and rap and then you'll you'll throw in like some EDM stuff to kind of like change it up and keep it going and I'll have some friends that are have a lot more melanin than I do they'll be like yo hi how do you know this song and I'm sitting there like you know hammered just dancing to it just like just swaying be like yeah and mouthing the words and like how do you know this song and I'm like because eh, I was on Bailey Street towing this guy's car after I put him in because I arrested cuffs, your nephew and I loved it no black people can be police officers too they're not all convicts wow and that's how he lost Texas it's always weird when I tell stories about like me hanging out with my black friends because I always feel like somebody in the comments is going to be like, just because you have a black friend doesn't mean blah, 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 that you're not racist. And I'm like, well. Oh, dude, dead. <laughs> I mean, I think it, I feel like it kind of does. Oh, dude, the cooking show. If I can say one joke that just had me dying is cooking show oh, with God. Eddie and us. And it's just Cody being like, hey, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> It's like my favorite moment because what do all the Mexicans do? We fucking laugh at it, and then you serve amazing food to us all. The other joke also really good. Um, Free whole list. <laughs> Wait, hold on a second. He said he serves fantastic food to everybody. We're getting grilled cheese and tomato soup. It was uh, it's, we were doing burritos. Last I'm sorry, week. It's tomato bisque. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry that you melted butter in it with your southern genes. It doesn't make it gooder. Oh. Wait till uh, you actually have you had Cody's scientifically sir. proven wrong. Uh, Listen, I wait, know. no, 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 no. Hold on. Have you had Cody's real good cooking? Oh no, it's Cody and I aren't real friends. He's never cooked for me. Dude, that's, this that's is bullshit. I was there when it happened. Wait for what? Charleston. Oh yeah, that's when you thought I was Mike the cop. I, I really did. That is still. <laughs> have we told the story on the podcast? Right, if we haven't, we need to tell it again. Oh my you fucking god, was Mike the cop. dude, for hours, for hours. <laughs> we, I'm dead fucking serious. So we, we. we. <laughs> <laughs> so it, the riots, the, the George Floyd riots happen, right? The and summer, I'm, summer of love. Summer of love. Yeah. And I'm 
tired as shit because I was one of the three guys in charge of our riot squad, and I and I just you know I literally blew my voice out from screaming at my at my troops to like push forward, make arrests, fight through tear gas. I had to take my gas mask off because they couldn't hear me. So I'm just like <laughs> forward march, just like eating pepper spray blowback and all this shit. And we had already planned to like come down and hang out at Charleston, and so it was like two days three days after the riots in Buffalo. And I was like, all right, things calm down like that because we put a, a very good and professional squash to it. And so we, I fly down and he's like, yeah, Brandon Herrera's here. I'm like, that sounds familiar. He's, he's a YouTuber. I was like, oh, cool. Oh, are you what? Taste the Midwest. I didn't even know we had those. Directly off camera. <sighs> Friendship. They don't need to know what we did. It's fair. Don't worry about it. So, Cody tells me, yeah, I got Brandon Herrera down here. And I'm like, I think I know who that is. And he sends me your YouTube. And I go, oh, I've seen a couple videos. And then I watch a couple more because it's like, oh, hey, if you searched Brandon Herrera, here's his, you know, top recent video. And I'm like, oh, this guy is, you know, pretty cool. I've seen his shit before. It's going to be really nice. I get down there. I meet you. You ask me right away. A-K-A-R. I go, I like AKs better. And he's like, we're going to get along. And he's like, I really like your stuff. I go, oh, that's really nice, you man. I like your stuff too. Two hours later, we no, keeps... it's longer than that. We hung out. We for hung a out. Good fucking. It's while. just the three or four. There's like three or four Brandon's people talking to Cody. He's like, Mike is a really good dude. We're, we're well, because like in, in my world, like sorry, I like I've never been exposed to your you know content. That, but... <laughs> you know that? He's texting people, back hanging compliment. with Mike. <laughs> Say that again. Say that again. I said hey, at the time, like this is five years ago. I'd never been exposed to your content. Never been exposed. It's the nicest way of saying I don't watch. Your shit. Go on. I'm sorry. I was you feel you entitled be. to my eyeballs. I don't fucking. I, I, I think I've, I've earned them. Uh, I gifted you a purple heart. <laughs> what have you given this friendship <laughs> except for lies? Except for you're trying to make himself sound like the victim. I've never been exposed to it. <laughs> <laughs> this was this was years ago. We were not friends. Never seen I did smallpox. It wiped us out. <laughs> As, as he coins the term wow, mud people. Nick, hold on, holy <laughs> shit. There is, they try no, to make Brandon himself Nick. sound like the victim, like, we didn't have smallpox, we're killing our indigenous society. <laughs> Brandon's like, why did I come to this episode? Just pick on Brandon. <laughs> yeah. well, normally I pick on him, but I just, you know. No, I, no, no, I think he's really okay, just brushing off all, the entitlement of, like, you... Obviously, obviously, you've seen my things because <laughs> I am the angry cops. <laughs> I am the angry <laughs> Me, oh, you don't know what to say to that one, huh? Sit down, Congressman. Let me finish the story. I can't count for it, dude. All right. Especially after having my angry cops over here. After having some fantastic conversation, thinking that we're friends, that we're like, we're having a real human connection. I thought we had a great time. Why? Oh, yeah, you thought you did until, yeah, because you thought you were hanging out with somebody that you actually watched on YouTube and respected. <laughs> to be fair. I'm just no, a ghost no, guy that's no. got 50,000 member fewer guys. Not, I don't matter to big not balls. Shitting on Mike Brandon Kikata. Herrera. Not, not shitting on on my, my well, obviously I did not really us. I didn't really see his content back then either. I just knew who he was. Just a lies so. through flattery. This guy, a white bald guy. So three or four hours That's later, yeah, sorry if the only police content I watched back then was Donut Operator. Hey, now kiss. But <laughs> <laughs> it actually happens. Like uh, I was an apprentice <laughs> electrician at the time. Looked like a homeless <laughs> mirror trying to make out with itself. I am not. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Can I trade you? Uh, man, you're, the, you're the prettiest meth head in the trail park. So, <laughs> three hours. It was a beautiful scene. Three or four hours after hanging out for the first time and getting to know each other a little bit and him still thinking I'm Mike the Cop. We go out. The beach is empty. It's nighttime. The moon is bouncing off of the waves on coastal Carolina. Donuts with us. And Brandon says some, a couple other things to me about me. And I stop as I'm knee deep in the ocean. And I look at him and I go, do you think I'm Mike the cop? <laughs> and he, he goes. He said that verbatim. Genuinely. He said, I do think I'm Mike the cop. And I immediately froze because I knew I'm like. 
oh, I fucked up. Oh, no. And I yeah, and I feel like this is true. You remember this better than me because it may be inside, but I feel like outwardly I just started laughing at him. You did. You yes. Have, yeah. I just started laughing at him. I was like, ah, You think I'm that guy? It was, there was no offense taken. You just thought it was the funniest fucking thing ever. That was hysterical. When Cody started his crazy business of podcasting, you know what he didn't think about? Merchandise. But now he's selling what? Merch. And it couldn't be easier. All because of Shopify. If you've shopped on BunkerBranding.com, you've used Shopify. Shopify is a global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. From the launch your online shop stage to the first real life store stage all the way to the did we just hit a million orders exclamation point shopify is there to help you grow from their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person pos that means point of sale wherever and whatever you're selling shopify's got you covered once you start selling shopify makes getting paid simple by instantly accepting every type of payment shopify helps you turn browsers into buyers using the internet's best converting checkout up to 36 percent better compared to other leading commerce platforms and sell more with less effort. Thanks to Shopify Magic, your AI-powered all-star. Shopify powers 10% of all e-commerce in the United States. And Shopify is the global force behind Allbirds, Rothy's, and Brooklinen. My favorite companies. What is that? No clue, but they also power millions of other entrepreneurs across 175 countries. Because businesses that grow, grow with Shopify. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash unsubpod. All lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash unsubpod now to grow your business, no matter what stage you're in. Go to shopify.com slash unsubpod. You know how Europeans are always talking shit about American houses being made out of paper mache? Yeah. On the internet, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I started looking into it thinking maybe there's a video there. You know who authorized the first like wood framed structure ever? George Washington. Wait, what? I was going to say Benjamin Franklin. What's I was what, oddly close. Uh, uh, like, why? That's a weird. Long. What do you mean authorized a wood structure? What does that even mean? Like the first like official building like on record that was built in how America frames a house today was like authorized by the United States government under George Washington to get government buildings done faster because we were trying to prop up the entire nation. So you're and saying like, that's the founding of how American homes. and like, So right away there was different. big government and housing. Wow. <laughs> Either that or we approved basically facade housing. I like how like I see George Washington in my mind like rubber stamping log cabins being like, this one's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> what was the, what? how was previous to that? What was the standard? And then. Well, I mean, it was just like, cause everybody was from Britain. So it's like, oh, let's build a castle to last for 200 years, which holy like, fuck. Yeah, on, I forgot on one hand, castles here. On one hand, seems like it's we a really a good idea if you but, completely ignore the fact that human technology advances. So like, you know, when you build a house out of solid fucking stone that's 18 really. inches thick, it's really hard to like, I don't know, knock out one cavity of a wall and install a outlet when some asshole invents electricity and this is why you know every time there's a heat wave in great britain and it gets like 82 degrees like 500 people fucking die because they gonna, don't have ac I was because they can't that. knock open a wall and put a vent in it and then right? they talk shit they've got all these split units that heat their house you couldn't put fucking cool on it can't do it that was good yeah i was like oh america i'm sorry my brain just went boom with so much information i learned <laughs> two <laughs> things today one that because i never thought about it's like oh yeah we just don't have castles from the 1700s when white house anything in dc is not it's like here's the castle we don't have that what well, dc is pretty much all like 1800s on yeah and i never thought about that the other is the chicken shits poops and babies out the what you the egg. Same chicken hole. egg the chicken eggs, poops eggs, babies eggs came first if that's what you're asking, whatever. Eggs yeah. came yeah. out. Didn't yeah. know that. Did not know that was vagina butt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The vagina butt. Like two for one. Today. Dude, two things. Two things. Yeah, bugs got him. You want me to keep going? <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine? I, I, I will say this though. I've gotten a lot of shit because my I did a Sten video, like a video on the the nine yeah, yeah, millimeter. You know, yeah. the Sten some. Yeah. Uh, I thought some you said guns, Stim. <laughs> I did that video probably, I don't know, two years ago. Um, My buddy Stim's like this. He, he'll get excited and he'll shake and then he'll go like yeah, this. Rich unzips his pants. Yeah, it's <laughs> ahead, the best. That's why he's my best friend. Because I just I curl his fingers like that. And then when he does it like that, he just fucking gets me off. 
It's a cool story. Stimming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, back to small caliber firearms. Back to yeah. But we no, it was a. Uh, I know more than one Tism guy. All right. The Tism surrounds us. It's like the Force. <laughs> the tism or, excuse me, the thread. Us, and we've got yeah, Anakin here. Yeah. The mini chlorians. The thread. Get the fuck <laughs> out of here. No, I didn't realize, like, even. I, did, I thought everyone did it until the I other day. Story. I liked it. He's too. going to. We're going to go back to it. <laughs> what did it we is, say? It's that fucking. When you get excited and you tense up, that was it. That's what happens. Like, like an orgasm? I don't what know are you talking what about? he's talking about. I know. That's what I found out was very particular to one person and no one else. <laughs> when you get super excited and you're like, you tell. Nope. Yeah, exactly. That's why I noticed what? that. I was like, oh, and I asked Sav about that. She's like, that's not normal. Nope. <laughs> at all. Period. See, everyone's looking at no, us. No okay. clue. What? Retarded, exactly. So Don't the stem. <laughs> go. Oh, sorry. Go. I, I just noticed that, uh, like, I was getting a lot of comments. Like, I because I, I look through my YouTube comments, even though that, that's probably really bad yeah. for your family. I do, I do it, too. It's I've got a great community. Health. If somebody shits on me, my community <laughs> goes fucking ham. <laughs> What's he saying? Wait, what? Brandon's like, no, 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 he was no, so excited. And then he's like, no, keep going. Yep, I feel you. And then he's like, <sighs> you caught it. And then now you know what it feels it, like Cody to be Cody. Cody gave it to you. Yeah. Are we good? So, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was just noticing that I was getting a. Uh, you can't talk here <laughs> right now. So, tell me, how was your day, Scott? Let the. Purple heart recipient talk, please. You're right. Rich. Sorry. <laughs> I apologize. Whoever made that, that was stupid shit. Thanks, Tom. All right. <clears throat> no, but I, I just I noticed that I was getting a lot of comments on the Sten video, and I was just like, "What? Well, what the fuck? What did I say? Like, why? Like, that was like a two year old video, and then all of a sudden it's a, uh, yeah, thank you. Um, all of a sudden I'm getting a shitload of comments from British people that are like God. really upset because I was making jokes. I, I don't. I like I make jokes about any country of origin of any fucking gun that I do a video on like or people the the, the VZ you know uh 51 or whatever the fuck. like I'll, I'll do like jokes about the check about how like their names sound like a fucking eye exam or like whatever the, fuck. But, like, <laughs> the uh but like the British people I apparently made a couple jokes about the British uh and about how like uh Dunkirk was the reason why that the Sten that's was, like historically accurate though I know the, like, the reason objective fact wait what was the yeah. joke there was no joke. It was just the reason that the Sten was created is because they were having to come up with expedient submachine guns for World War II because they had lost so many of their arms, like the uh, the Bren and things like that, at Dunkirk. Wait, and I need more. We'll, we'll finish your story. Dun and then we'll Dunkirk, they, they got cut yeah. off and they like had to ditch a ton of their military equipment just to save the men. So they got back and they're like, oh, we have our army and they don't have any fucking guns. So they came. One Stamp. of the solutions was yeah. the Sten where they're just mass manufacturing stamping these submachine guns for something yeah, they shit together a nine millimeter submachine gun for 11 bucks a piece back in the day and that, that's that's exactly what yeah. happened but so many fucking brit bongs are sitting here like just getting irritated at the fact that i'm like poking like light fun at the english and i had one guy today just like oh yeah you americans you like to talk about your revisionist history you guys came out only came in in the last eight months of the war because of pearl harbor i was like are you fucking me, retarded? Eight months? I'm pretty sure that there was a lot more than eight months yeah. after Pearl Harbor. You know, how many, you know how many hundreds of tons of bread America sent to the UK daily? You're the welcome for the time. For the Nick, land lease. Nick, a how much? Ton, a fuck ton. You ever heard of Merchant Marines? Oh, my grandfather was one. Yeah, you, you know, like the American civilians that were dying in droves in yeah. German U-boats to give the UK supplies because America didn't have a army the, yet the entire shits. the entire lend lease act all of that shit where we're giving the allies supplies guns munitions fucking vehicles everything the only thing my grandfather told me about world war ii my one grandfather who was a merchant marine uh was that he uh the ships on either side of him got hit with torpedoes and he had to uh, um keep going and he and he watched americans drown and he was just like, yeah, it's fucking horrible. It fucked him up. Yeah, dude, fucked I him bet. up. He did. I was just like, uh, I'm only, I'm only twelve, Grandpa. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I, I was like, that's your bedtime story. He's like, 
Go to sleep, mijo. I think it was, I was younger than 12. <laughs> he was <wasn't> Mexican. <laughs> yeah, just, it, Mexican. I was, is when I was in like fifth or sixth grade, I was like, I want to join the Army, and I'm going to do it. I just don't know if it's going to be the Army, the Marines, the Air Force, but I'm leaning towards Army Marines because of you and my other grandfather. I'm like, what can you tell me about like World War II? Like, what was it like? What did you feel? It was like the two ships on either side of me got blown up, and I had to... Uh, uh, Keep, we had to keep going, and so I, I watched a whole bunch of Americans drown, and I was like, "Oh, badass!" Hi <laughs> uh, is a very it's a very Germanic last name, right? Yep. Yeah. So like his very Germanic uh, grandfather was telling him about uh, you know, sorry, Miho, sorry you uh, you <laughs> strong Mexican grandfather. Yeah, he was like, we really like the Americans; they were going to be our allies, but we had to sink those two ships. <laughs> Is it? Uh, I gotta watch him drown. And our German frigate pass through. <laughs> My favorite thing is when Allied forces like the British and the fucking Russians, formerly the Soviet Union, are like, "You stupid Americans!" In your winner's history, it's like, "Fuck, dickhead! You won too!" Like, I don't what. Yeah, I don't you were on the like, winning side. You were on the team where we won. Like, just admit that we oh. fucking. You shot all over my it's arm because you weren't drinking yours it's fine just lick it up what was yours it's almost done <laughs> yeah you sp <laughs> you spill it you 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 revisionist you, 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 <laughs> you spill because you weren't drinking yours you gas you're trying to gas light maybe <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so do we ever want Tucker Carlson on this podcast? Yeah. Oh, we do. Yeah, oh really? shit, never mind. Okay, I won't go, go on. We can, well, we'll hear the. He's story pissing me then. the fuck off lately. Let's, uh, let's probably not do that if we want him on. We can cut it out later if it's that bad. Yeah. It's well, not. I mean, it's, it's only it it's, ten, it. it's ten percent his fault, ninety percent his guest's fault. But like, he brought on this fucking historian that he described as the most honest historian of our time. I believe is what he said, and this fucking moron got on Tucker Carlson's thing and went on a tirade unchallenged where his main claim was Winston Churchill who don't get me wrong you he had plenty of character faults you could say he did a lot of things that maybe weren't great but he went on to describe him as and I quote the chief villain of World <laughs> War II <laughs> that was not me dude <laughs> we had this. We had this on the fucking record. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah. Yeah. We saw you do it. I blow my nose so hard uh, that I think I put toilet paper all over my chest. Anyways, did you see this? Hmm? Parker Carlson's interview with the historian guy. I'm just, I'm just happy everyone else on the podcast was able to talk for like fucking two minutes while you were in the restroom. <laughs> Be funnier Jeez. than me. Has everyone chose violence today. I just thought you look at Brandon for that. The name of this episode is The Gang Fights. Yes, the gang, gang, shit all over the the gang table. hates each other. We just fucking go ham. Me and Rich are having a cage fight to raise money for veterans awareness. We should oh, do it. We should do a free for all. The gang does a free for all. It's gonna end in a Superman the punch. Gang, the, what's the WWE the cage match where it's just a bunch of people beat hell, the shit hell out of in each cell. other? Hell in the cell. Did you know in 1996 The Undertaker <laughs> <laughs> that, that me. Today we're going to talk about <laughs> I should start doing sports history I was this close Ooh. I was this close to talking about the Philadelphia Flyers Awesome Try it on Fat Files yeah, that would be I know I'm going to because yeah, so do you, like, do you, I'm kind of in, I really like hockey The Philadelphia Flyers back in the day The Broad Street Bullies Like the Back in the day, the Philadelphia Flyers' strategy was to just beat the fuck out of you. Yeah. And then after you were broken, they'd score goals. They <laughs> played <laughs> hockey after they fucked you up. Yeah. It's a good and method. The, the CCP, the Soviet Union's Olympic hockey team, the hot shot, the ones from Miracle that had to play in the Olympics, went to play the Philadelphia Flyers, and the Philadelphia Flyers beat the fuck out of them <laughs> to the point that at halftime, they left. <laughs> and then they, 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 they literally, literally they fucking packed bailed. their shit and quit because they're like, we're not playing these guys anymore. And then they were like, we're not going to pay you then. And then they came back out on the ice and they continued to kick the shit out of them. <laughs> and that's how <laughs> capitalism wins. <laughs> oh, you're going to leave? How about we keep the cash, you pores? Come on. 
<laughs> Welcome to reality on ice, bitch. <laughs> what year was that? Huh? What I year? don't remember the exact. Oh. But it was my favorite. It's That's my favorite awesome. sports story favorite of all year? time. <laughs> it's the best game ever played. It's hilarious. I like how you think that that was only the Philadelphia Flyers. Like that was they everybody's were the most renowned for it. Like hockey back in the day, like you had like an enforcer or two. There was or like two. The, the there one, was a lot of the enforcers one per team. Like you had the one goon that was like, okay, if I fuck up their their skill players, this monstrosity ogre of a man's gonna come out here and beat the <laughs> shit out of me. Correct. Philadelphia Flyers was just all of them were Shrek. Just they're all gonna beat the fuck out of you. We the, the, the Sabers. I think I feel like the Sabers specifically and the Flyers at one point it was like the nineties had just a physical rivalry. Where uh, Shields uh, was their goalie at the time was such a fucking dickhead, fantastic goalie, but it was such a dickhead to our players, like slashing them all the time and fucking with them, that our goalies got in fights on like three or four times. Like or the benches, or not the benches, but like the players. The no, no, the, yeah, yeah, the players, but not the benches, but the players <laughs> on the ice would just like everybody on the ice was just teed up, paired off with one another guy, and Shields. Dude, like we had Rob Ray at the time, and Rob Ray and Ty Domi from the Leafs were fighting each other all the time. Uh, yes, I Rob watched, Ray. They made a Rob Ray my rule. Favorite. So, Did you watch the my video hero, that came out frankly. like two weeks ago about him? who? No, I, I was I was fucking around. Same, with you, Brandon. Actually. Yeah, okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you had me I scared. Never I'm like, watch. <laughs> I'm so confused on what's going on. I'm like sports. God damn it! I'm drinking and I can't remember the name. It's literally my favorite documentary <laughs> you ever. And I can't remember the name. You Goon? thought we were no, actually no, 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 a movie. No, a This is a legit <laughs> documentary. Like I watched the war documentary. Oh, stop! Cody's talking. No, you said Rob Ray. I was going to say is that were that inspired some of Goon? To Goon. Did Rob Ray inspire some of Goon? I, I think so, man. Like, Goonie? wasn't someone in there named Rob Ray? Like, uh, Liv Shriver's character? Wasn't he something? Rule number one, <laughs> don't touch my fucking Percocets. Rule number two, does anybody have any fucking Percocets? <laughs> uh, no, there's a... I'm so confused. It was on... I think it might be a Netflix original documentary. I think it's called Ice Guardians, and it's my favorite documentary of all time. That's it's something so coming good. from you. It's it, yeah, it's it's better than every war documentary I've ever watched. And it's that about... That is a... It's about fucking <laughs> hot... It's about hockey... And it's about how they got rid of fighting in hockey to the degree that, like, the enforcer is no longer a practical role because yeah. you just get ejected. And they actually go through and they break down and be like, here's traumatic brain injuries and, like, the outcomes of people. And it's gotten so much worse since they've gotten rid of the enforcer that's going to go out there and beat the shit out of you because now it's like... They're playing free, too they're free, because free. there's and no consequences. And it's like, well, now you're going to clip a dude while you're skating at 30 miles an hour with a shoulder pad, yep. and that's way more traumatic than some dude grabbing your shirt and punching you five times. Absolutely. And it just shows, like, you got rid of violence, and it made the outcomes so much worse. One of my favorite hockey clips, because I'll go into a, a hockey hole every once in a while. Dude, I can't wait to watch the analytics of the draw. No pun intended. The race. Uh, is, <laughs> I was like, I have no, I have no fucking clue what we're talking about, not, dude. So like, I'm like, what is going on right now? So uh, on. this is an easy story that everybody can understand. It's about fighting. Love so it. the Buffalo Sabres, I forget which Here's team that. it was. The Buffalo Sabres are playing against another NHL team in the playoffs. And similar to what you described, our star scorer got hammered on like on open ice and like knocked him out on the Why? ice. He's fucking uh, out. Gets up, gets, you know, like helped off the ice, skates off the ice. And our coach at the time, who's now our coach now, Lindy Ruff, he used to play hockey. So he was a player, became a coach, and he was like one of, he is one of the best coaches in hockey and he is motherfucking the other coach through the glass like you don't come after our f captain you don't fucking do that and rob ray is an announcer who used to play for this guy and with this guy is like just sitting in between them and he's like i'm not saying I'm just kind of holding my mic up so you can hear this, guys. And you can hear Lindy Ruff just motherfucking the other coach. <laughs> and so it all calms down, calms down enough to where everybody goes back out on the ice and they're about to drop the puck from the penalty and, you know, start playing hockey again. And right away, they drop the puck. The second they drop the puck, this, every Sabres guy goes, who just drops his fucking gloves, grabs his dude, and 
fucking wailing on guys. And I think it was the senators because all of a second, I think it was Marty Baron or, or, or Miller, who was a, a silver medalist, <laughs> Starts just like fuck it and just <laughs> comes down in the middle of the ice and points at the other goalie and the other goalie's like fuck. Yeah. <laughs> and the two goalies, which for those of you who have ever watched hockey, goalies never get in a fight. They're fucking, they're they're like it'd a soccer like, goalie. Like if two NFL quarterbacks got in a fist fight it in the middle of the yeah. field, it, does it not doesn't happen. happen. Like, <laughs> meet so the, you behind the bleachers at three o'clock. Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> so, these two goalies just point each other out and just start skating at each other from one end of the ice. <laughs> And, get to the center, and then just like circle each other like sharks and then just grab each other and start dotting each other and they're like my goalie the Sabres goalie goes down and then our guy and then our defender oh my god I'm forgetting his name right now uh, but he he comes over and he sees our goalie get knocked down to the you know to the ice by the other goalie he's like fuck that and uh, Peters his name is Peters and he grabs the other goalie he's like fuck you fuck you you goalie and that goalie if i'm not mistaken was previously a golden gloves boxer hard oh. hard to box on the ice very gets, hard gets our goal like goalie on goalie don't really golden have a lot of foot power there yeah, yeah. Push Go out. yeah golden gloves boxer takes down our goalie okay peters comes over and just like i don't give a fuck that you can fight we're on the ice this is this is my dojo and just grabs <laughs> just uppercutting the shit out was phenomenal yeah, it is crazy that that sport is the only sport where the ref is like, let him fight. <laughs> it's, a it's a boxing it's match for like 30 seconds. <laughs> let, let him fight. <laughs> Bro, I'm going to go home and watch Goon tonight. <laughs> I love that good movie, movie so much. Yeah, that, I never watched it. That, You've never seen Goon? No. Oh, God, really? it's so good. With Sean, uh, Sean, Sean Williams. Yeah. 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 It's no literally idea. about an enforcer, and he's just like a tough guy, and they're like, hey, we're just... Whenever somebody pisses off, whenever somebody hits one of our skill players, I'm gonna send you in, and you're gonna fuck up that guy. And it's just him beating the fuck out of people. It's hilarious. No, I've never number sixty nine. No, no. Oh, all right. Brandon, I heard you started a new business. That's right, he did. <laughs> well, you can cut that sexual tension with a knife, but yes, Eli, I did. Help me. I will, right after I tell you about my new company, We Don't Sell Boat Anchors .com. You guys know I built my entire brand off of. Boat anchors. Brandon's my favorite boat anchor tuber. Well, now we built a website that will allow you to buy boat anchors at dealer price. All my anchors were lost in a boating accident. So if you want access to dealer pricing on boat anchors and boat anchor accessories, check out we don't sell boat anchors.com. We don't sell boat anchors.com. We don't sell boat anchors. Go what's what's it. his name in American Pie? It's fucking um, Stifler. 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 Yeah. Stifler. That is a good actor for that role. Yeah. No, yeah. it's, it's fantastic. So yeah, he's just a big idiot, and he beats the fuck out of everyone. Era? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a 2000. How much to get him on Pepperbox? Like, get him on, like, some fucking original movie go? we do? Didn't he have some scandal, and he, like, disappeared? He really? allegedly oh. did some uh, not nice things with ladies. Never mind. All right, never mind. Hey, that, yeah, we're we'll good have on to that look one. into that. I'll take but... that gamble. <laughs> <laughs> did you take that deal? Take that deal? <laughs> Damn good deal. Damn, Damn good deal. deal. I'll take that deal. <laughs> So you're saying uh, we can get him at a discount? Yeah, absolutely. That yeah, reminds me of the Garantham thing, where he po I think he posted this publicly, where uh, he was trying to get uh, laid. The, who's the fucking star that he was joking about the whole time? Macaulay Culkin and uh, Ron Jeremy. Oh, like Ron his, Jeremy. Oh yeah, his, I yeah. don't like where this is going. But no, okay. no, like he, he always had like the fucking target, where it was like Ron Jeremy Ron holding Macaul uh, Macaulay Culkin Our hostage. Our new movie, Hell Alone. Oh, that actually <laughs> Ron <laughs> Jeremy. No, no, like, but they looked like him. But he was just like he was trying to get Ron Jeremy on uh, like that a video to <laughs> sex toy booby traps. <laughs> God, dear God, Hell Alone is <laughs> just, hey, a, that's just a rubber forearm like, coming alone. down the stairs. <laughs> you step on something, it shoots up your ass. <laughs> 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 But he kept trying to get him on, and then, like, as soon as the fucking sex scandal thing, like, broke with Ron Jeremy, he he had uh, messaged his manager. He's like, so, can we get you at a discount? Bro, you want to hear something? My, one of my best friends, the my, the other jujitsu coach at my gym, we had a guy, he was a student, he moved, but he was hilarious. His name was Reed, and he always had a rash guard of Ron Jeremy, but it was like, the you know the Obama campaign picture of the red and blue where he's yeah. like, oh, yeah. it was that, but it was Ron Jeremy. Change. And that was the, his rash, rash guard. It was, yeah. Yeah. It, but it was a rat, Ron Jeremy, and it was a rash guard, and it was really funny. He always wore it, and we always, you know, joked about it prior to that incident, and 
Cameo had just come out, and Reed was you know making a lot of money. Single guy. He paid five hundred dollars oh, to have Ron Jeremy sing Happy Birthday to my friend Calvin, and he sent the cameo of singing Happy Birthday with a harmonica to Calvin. The next fucking day, that scandal broke. <laughs> Jesus. It was perfect. I had posted that on Twitter and said that, you know, the guy he was singing to was an eight-year-old boy. <laughs> Wait, Ron Jeremy had a sex scandal issue? Oh. That doesn't matter. <laughs> Shocking. Crazy. So wild. What? I've had friends that have worked with him for, like, different things, and they said he's the scuzziest, dirtiest dude ever. Right, horrible how, to work with. How different of a thing could it be? What? They they worked with him for different things. Like I, I feel like it was one thing. Oh, it wasn't. It was like, hey, okay. show up to like a bachelor party and he like, like two things. Be the guest Mario of honor at a bachelor party. Matt. So I'll tell you one story. Mario. He's Mario, uh, right? seriously. I'm joking. Okay, I was like, <laughs> Brandon, I'm just you like, fucking... I'm drinking Brandon today. <laughs> that is within the realm of possibility. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Uh, <laughs> go on. Oh my God. We need to give Chase a raise. Yeah, I feel bad for this episode. <laughs> he has to edit everything. He's just sweating. He's like, Aw. Sean William Scott Stifler uh, did not have a sex scandal. Apparently, he had some substance abuse issues that he had to deal with on his own, and that's why he kind of dropped off the radar. Oh, that's nothing. Yeah. yeah. Everyone. Deals We've all with done that. Bring him to Pepperbox. <laughs> Joe Rogan's probably done harder drugs than him. <laughs> We've all done that. I was going to say, I thought oh, that was weird because I always heard he was like a really nice guy. That's what I heard. Yeah. yeah. Like, I think right. I, I was conflating him with uh, the, the curly haired Scientologist from fucking that 70s show. Uh, Danny oh, Masterson. Ew, oh, that yeah, dude. Yeah. Now, yeah. that dude. Isn't he in prison? Yes. Yeah, I think oh, so. Okay. Dude, what? Yeah. So I that's know. when Mila and the other dude, uh, and Ashton, Ashton Kutcher, and, like, yeah. they're like, he needs a lighter charge. And everyone was like, are you a Fucking retarded. I was gonna say that. But he's really nice. Like that whole argument was not very good. Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Which is crazy because Ashton started a like protect the kids. So <laughs> <laughs> All there right. we go. Alright. So he's yeah, going into attack. Start mode, the stopwatch right? until the word baby oil gets hit. <laughs> huh? So Ashton Kutcher, that 70s show. Meets Mila Kunis, who lies about her age and is 14 on to get on the show. Oh, my God. I it, forgot about that. Immediately, those two have a connection. She likes Ashton. She's like, I'm going to marry him. Ashton's not like 50, but he's like several years older than her and, you know, uh, legal age where while she's not. I don't know when they start the relationship, but it, I mean, I, I would say it's probably at the day her 18th birthday probably kicked off, which is huh, a little weird. Immediately after the 70s show kicks off and he does, you know, uh, the other stuff, he actually creates a child protection non for profit where yeah, yeah. him and different groups are working together in, in order to find and prevent children from being exploited, right? So it's a five year age gap. She was 14, he was 19. Okay, that's not the end of the world. That's still weird at the time. Pretty, pretty not great. When right? You're 16 and she's 21 and, and she's 17. I know that, you know, if you're you know, in your 30s and somebody's, you know, five years your junior, that's really not that big of a difference. But uh, one, development and physically, and then two, mentally. Like, what are you going to talk about? How you stayed inside the lines when you call her today? <laughs> Real little, you know, a little, what are we going to, what's the conversation? You know, bumper Females cars was fun. 17, that's what they do. <laughs> yeah. I got my gel I know how to call her now. Yeah. I gave myself a perm. Is this cool? No. I bought new jeans by myself at Aeropostel. I don't know, okay. With my mom's credit card, honey, shut up. And oh Christ, how many syllables did you just say that word with? Credit card? Aeropostel? Aeropostel. How do you say it? Aeropostel? It's the same amount of syllables. Aeropostel. Aeropostel. I said it, I said it classy because it was French. Aeropostel. Oh, okay, sorry. Go ahead. Anyway, so he, he creates this thing and then he's doing all this good stuff for finding children that are exploited and then it's like oh by the way honey that <clears throat> the woman that i'm in love with that found me when she was a minor and a minor for a long time until we could start our relationship let's get on a video and say hey even though this guy did the thing that i created my non for profit to fight against we should go make him a nice sentence because he happened to be nice guy tv show it, it all threw me off fucking insanity it all threw me off 
I don't even understand why he would do that considering the work that he did in the opposite direction. Do you know why? I don't know, but all I can think about is like that happened and then zero backlash and Cody's over here just like, I wish my tax dollars would help Americans. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Cody. <laughs> Your mom needs to die. Extremely controversial What was take. the one line? Poopy butt? <laughs> Come here, guys. Yeah, poopy, poopy butt. What if we all paid money into a fund and then it just helped out the less fortunate? You. <laughs> I, I just wish my mom wasn't underwater right now. Yeah. That'd be fucking cool. Fuck you, I hope she dies. Yeah. Her think, poopy, think, poopy butthole. Yeah, I wish her poopy, like, poopy butthole died. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Internet. That's fucking kind of you. You should read, you should actually laugh at that one part of it. So he gets replies like, Yeah, don't why do is that. He laughing at that one. <laughs> God I, bless the Internet. I yeah. randomly get dudes on Twitter that will, like, try to shit on me and they're so wrong like let's just say that somebody tweets you know one plus one equals four and i go sorry bud but well one plus one equals two and then somebody underneath me will be like hey you're a fucking fascist and i'll be like bro i'm just i'm, I'm just here saying words man and then they just keep going and i look at them just have so much fun being like the center of attention because other people are defending me and they get to respond. And I, I get mad at that. Like I get mad at the nice people that follow me are talking to this idiot, which is all oh, that, that idiot it, wants. Dude, they feed into it. What is, can, you can check how many hours you spend on app, right? Yeah. 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 The screen what time. is your, can we go around and see how much for a week spend oh, on Twitter? Oh, terrible. let's do it. Twitter? I, I, I would, would love land. to do this because I don't, I like screen, Twitter. It's the screen How do you time, find it? Right? Well, like, is it settings? settings? Rich, what is Twitter like, 80 oh hours? Wait, where? So how so do we find this? Just swipe down and go screen time. And Wait, type screen on Twitter? Time. Oh, no, no, on, on your uh, screen. Your iPhone. Um, your okay. Looks like on top of what Rich was saying, he's like, I have so many nice people that follow me. And then there's always that like, app. Those it's always the negative like, that stands out because that's yeah. the way that we our monkey brains learn, right? You learn by touching the hot stove so your brain remembers the bad things so you don't do it again. Whereas like if somebody compliments me and says, I want to give a purple heart to your friend, I forget about it for six months. So app by limits. week? At limits? Oh no. On Twitter, I've spent four hours and 42 minutes this week. I don't think I can. Oh, yeah. oh no. Go to settings and then we'll know. <laughs> I got it. What's yours? Hold on, you go last because you probably got the most. So, Brandon, you said how long? Oh, back out. We're we doing Twitter. We're so doing yours. Yeah. Is you can do everything. Oh, this week. That's for a week. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Oh, he goes last. He goes last. He goes hold last. On. How do hey, I? Hey, Homelander, what's, what's your time at? at? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was. I was <laughs> oh God, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Calling Brandon Sprite. <laughs> I was like, that's for a week, not... Okay. <laughs> that wasn't... <laughs> your reaction was so visceral. Holy shit, that's for a week. Oh, no, that's right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's... I... <laughs> yeah. Wait, how do I do... Oh, okay, I, apparently, I... Also, I spend more time on fucking Twitter than YouTube. You don't spend... Any, oh, my God. Mind. You don't spend any time Twi on your phone. Twitter? I got kids and shit. Yeah, okay. How long? How many hours you got on Twitter? Uh, four hours and forty-two minutes. I've got thirteen hours, fourteen minutes. You Wait, got hold on. this hey, week. There we go. This week. Virtually nothing. What the fuck, dude? Thirteen hours. I found out. All right, that. see, I'm not an asshole. Yeah. Wait, you got well, fourteen get, hours this week? I get yeah, four, uh, thirteen and four, thirteen hours, fourteen minutes. Four and forty-two. Fourteen and a half. Oh. You probably had like almost 30. nothing. Yeah. yeah, nothing. How do I even do this? He. Bro, I don't like you have to understand. No, you could have found out the number before you asked all of us. I don't I don't know this no shit. No fluidity. Bro. Give me your phone. Let me see it. Okay, Bro, please. Can... Please show me. I just like show me on Eli's time. I just like to go on Twitter and post timelines of Screen historic time. events and piss off communists cuz it's that <laughs> easy. See all app and website activity. Zero. Zero. That's what I'm saying. One minute. Well, how do we do that? Because I just, I just turned second. that on. That's oh, what I'm so saying. We, we've never turned it on, so it wasn't recording the data. Just oh, like your wives, you've never cheater. turned them on. Cheater. Oh, let's see how many tweets I have. <laughs> I have not many. <laughs> let's go off of tweets. Um, let's go by impressions. Hmm. Oh, hmm. Tweets. That's how it is. Oh, huh? Sorry. X. Yeah. All right. X. Yeah. I typed in Twitter. All right, let's do YouTube next. <laughs> let's do Pepperbox. Mm. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Wait, can you? Check uh, I don't think any of us done? can do no. Pepper Box. Eli, <laughs> help us with Pepper Box. Pepper By the way, box. if you guys want to see some fantastic outtakes and some behind the scenes action, make sure that you subscribe to Pepper Box, where you'll get all the good juicy stuff without any of the censorship. A lot of the shit the we ads. could not say here. Mm -hmm. Brandon sure. said the word. <laughs> I'll let you determine what word it is, but you know what word it is. Which oh, one you was it? Check how you many know. tweets you've done, <laughs> Cody. How many did, tweets have you done? Did Did you what watch you my? Uh, uh, it should be the when Cash you for Clunkers video on yes. Pepperbox. It'll be on the top. Uh, one. There's no. a deleted scene that didn't make YouTube. <laughs> it was aggressive. Oh, really? <laughs> it involved Caleb's uh, <laughs> Caleb's bit from when oh. we when we did uh, uh, when Caleb was dressed as a Nazi talking we, about punching through the attic. <laughs> Dude, we I literally did not see that. Yeah, we really talked bad. about Holy that. Shit. It was really bad. We talked about that today at the gym. It was Meat Canyon. <laughs> Like drawing Caleb, <laughs> oh. punching through, get me within five feet of Anne Frank, <laughs> and I'll take her. Is that, I'll, find, I'll, yeah, I'll punch her in the face. I'll find where she is. <laughs> Just the, Caleb punching through the attic the, and pulling her down. The Uber Nazi. <laughs> yeah, he was called the Uber Nazi. I feel like, like this. if you. <laughs> If you took Caleb's voice and put hey. it towards like any horrible character, <laughs> it's so it would be either a hysterical or so so much worse. You know what I mean? Like he's he's got such that sweet southern twang, you know that that soft southernness, you know. And it's either like, <laughs> what do you what are you giggling at? I just asked how many. <laughs> What's the difference? So I have 682 posts on Twitter. So I found total. Number. Cody. 10, Cody 000. has 29,900. <laughs> 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 that top number. <laughs> Hold on. I, there's a slight discrepancy in that number. <laughs> who, who were you? Who were you between for the most influential Cody, people on Twitter? Who you were, are you fighting on you Twitter? You were between Cody. like. Taylor Swift Let me see and like a major politician. Oh uh, shit! <laughs> it was like all, twenty top most most influential people, all very recognizable names. Oh, Donut operator, right in the middle. What's yours, Nick? Like, so nothing. Almost 3, Virtually nothing. <laughs> That's not true. You're on it. I have like ten tweets. <laughs> I, I was expecting yours to be like five thousand. So it's like three. It's okay. You guessed at 10,000. There's an American. Like times that by three. The communists are coming back, so I'll be on Twitter more. It's a good, sure. it's a good hobby. What's my what? Your Twitter? How many uh, How many posts do you have on Twitter? Yeah. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I just like, I can still have a number that is seen. 682. How do you, how you find that? Uh, go to your profile. Yep. And then scroll. Is that your password? 4,300. Cody! You, Jesus! How do you have 30,000? Brandon shit, has 4,300. Jesus Christ. I don't know, man. Well, he's also been doing it for years. Like, he's earned that. Like, he put in the time. You're like a Delta operator on Twitter. Yeah, 4,300. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I started in the early days. You're right? haloing into bully everyone. <laughs> I started bullying in 2016. We're, we're buddy. sitting here it's like your OG Steam account. Just finishing AIT. He's like an SF guy with like eight tours. Delta we're, operator. We're showing up to fucking Iraq. He's been in World Cody, War II. Cody's the equivalent of like the chaplain in the infantry. <laughs> Everybody fights. Nobody quits. <laughs> Rupdex. <laughs> It'll be okay, boys. It'll be okay. <laughs> Cody's Brandon, is, Cody's Brandon is, like, I've transcended violence. I've, I've won. <laughs> you are. You are the First Amendment. You just realized, like, <laughs> violence is nirvana. <laughs> I don't care if we've told this story before. It would never not be funny when Cody was like, guys, I'm, can I have the password to the unsub Twitter? And we were all like, Mm. No. Um, he's like, I've never called anyone anything bad. And Brandon goes, Donut Operator, search. Well, I, was like, I would never say this on Twitter. Well, I've got um, a semi funny social media story. Uh, if we don't want to talk about politics, we'll talk about some veteran bullshit. Uh, so I made a video uh, a week or two ago on the VFW. They created a VFW post inside a Colorado prison. And okay, yeah. So the v, it was VFW post twelve two two nine, 
in Colorado, VFW was like super proud about it. They're like, hey, we've got these veterans that are in prison. Just because you're in prison doesn't mean you're not a veteran. Let's take care of you. Brotherhood, maybe camaraderie. <laughs> what did they do? <laughs> yeah, bingo. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Let's. So <laughs> I got this story from a buddy of mine that's got some children, and he's like, "Dude, what? It, what is this? What? What is happening?" And I looked into it, and I was like, "I'll tell you what's going on with it." So I look into it. The these are a couple of the members and their criminal history. So. I believe it's uh, the president. I won't even go over like their their titles. I'll just say like what they did. So one guy uh, took an 18 month old and smashed its head into tile on the side and on the front, so that there was bruising on the side of its face and the front of its head. Wood chipper. Uh, mm. And then uh, shook it so hard that it tore brain material. Uh, burst its its retina so that there was retinal bleeding and something else, and then told called nine one one and said that it had uh, it just fallen down some uh, <clears throat> some carpeted stairs, to which you know the medics and stuff and the doctors were like, no, no, this is from trauma, and the child died five days later. Mm -hmm. They also found scalding marks on his butt, so he boiled the baby, like not like oh I accidentally dunked it in a hot bath, like he boiled the baby's boiled. butt. So that's one guy. Another guy uh, went into a bar, shot two or three people, and then the third or fourth guy was trying to render aid. He was a doctor, and he executed him, and then made a whole bunch of jokes about it on his way to and from trial. Uh, another guy murked a guy in the middle of uh, 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 like an alleyway. This will be this will be interesting. Enjoy the bleeps for this one. Uh, another guy broke into a Colorado teacher's house and grape drinked the shit out of her for three hours while tiring, tying her up for three hours. Grape drank the shit out of her for three hours and suffocated her over and over again with the pillow. And then the creme de la creme of this entire group is their quartermaster who in 82 got caught for child graping, drinking a child. 1980, and then went to prison. 1987 or 89, got caught again for grape drinking a child, and then went to prison. And then in like the 20 somethings, like 2017, 2015. For, for grape what? Grape, grape drinking. Grape. Yeah. Grape. Yeah. Children on two separate occasions. And then in the 20 teens, the late teens, I think it was. <clears throat> The police went to this guy's father's home where bad guy and bad guy's brother are staying. So bad guy, bad guy, brother are staying in this house with their father's father's house. Police go there because they're like weird smells are coming from the house and neighbors are complaining. They're like, oh, get ready for a dead body. 92 year old dad is in his reclining chair, stuck to the seat, alive, filled, composted almost with soil because he soiled himself. Uh, and like skin peeling off of him, stuck to the couch, yeah. like almost dying. Well, dying. They remove him, go through the house. They get brother and bad guy in custody and find out that bad guy, who, like I already said, gave grape drink to two separate children on two separate occasions and was arrested for it. They find a whole bunch of child videos and children's underwear in his house. These are all people that the VFW were like, it's a great idea. They're veterans. We need to respect their veteran status and give them a VFW post. I'm gonna pass. Yeah. No. I'm gonna have a controversial opinion. <clears throat> Not great. <clears throat> Not great. So positive out of this is after bringing light to the situation, um, well, not so positive. At first, the Colorado VFW responded with a Facebook post and the Facebook post was we stand by our veterans and these people need help and assistance in coming back into the community into the once a, once a veteran yeah, exactly. always a veteran it's, it's the assistance of bullet like eh. so they stand by this and they support it and they are they're like doesn't matter what charge you have you're still a veteran within like an hour it got a couple comments underneath it that were like, you might want to recheck that statement. They remove it. Of course, 
I took a screenshot of it because fuck them. And I why, why fuck the VFW? Uh, well, what for, would they have done well, in the last few months? Yeah, well, hmm. well, they've done some things. I would say their headquarters had needs might need some change, but which it's. It, change that seems like it has happened which is good i think more change needs to happen in the vfw headquarters especially because you know anyone they, in particular you'd like to say needs to be changed oh they, man what's that fired, fucking italian guy's name oh it's like oh my god hold on hold on i gotta find his stupid you're holding i gotta find his holding dumb name with bated breath there it is come here where, what's your name no we're going to war with the vfw now bud again Ryan Guaducci, the Gooch, probably needs to go. Um, but anywho, so, you know, after one, telling the VFW to maybe not make fun of veteran with a sign, a guy who's helped out veterans for a long time, and should probably say you're sorry, which they haven't yet, inappropriate. I would really like to see them say that they're sorry. Me too. That. I would probably not pick on you as much if you just <clears throat> admitted your mistake. Um, What's that called? I kind of... I got to something like that. Oh, Integrity? Oh, yeah. mm. Honor? Honor? Not being a Courage? Piece of shit. Aren't those like supposed to be synonymous with that synonymous dem dem demographic of people that we're talking? That veterans? Means? Oh yeah. That, oh, <sighs> God, shit, if fuck. only. So besides shitting on Veteran with a Sign, one of the most nicest people ever in the world, they decided that they would set up this fantastic VFW in a prison with child touchers, uh, grape artists, and murderers. Uh, and then double down on the grape creators and the murderers in a Facebook post, then remove the post. But the good guys won because as of recently, they removed that post from the prison only because there weren't enough members in it after they decided at that moment, after having a year, a year of being around, they decided that some of the members didn't qualify to be members because of some of the actions that they took. And not even the actions that they took, that they didn't complete their time in service, meaning uh, the time they were given for the charges. So their time in prison, their prison sentences, right? So not that they are grapes, grapers, not that they are murderers or child viewers of the bad videos. No, 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 no. That they didn't finish their time they decided that they had to remove those members. And then, well, then there weren't enough members to create a VFW, so they closed it. So, the VFW didn't stop having a prison post because of the bad people in it. They said they stopped having a post because the membership was no longer enough to substantiate a VFW post status. Which, to me, sounds like you still want grapers in your ranks, which sounds kind of dumb. Only a lot. Dear God, Cody's on this podcast. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Unsubscribe Podcast. is <laughs> <laughs> no. great. Yeah. Dude, wow. I, they have a very good optic and how to capture it. And then really reflect on everything. When individual, they bring in everyone, they bring in everyone. everyone. Individual posts are phenomenal, and they do a lot of good things. But the headquarters, I believe, for some states, and just the overall headquarters, has made some bad decisions. That, I think normal people would say, need to get you removed. Right, Ryan? Galooch? <laughs> pretty much any time you go to war with one of our friends that I, I, I usually feel like one of our friends is pretty level-headed in one way or the other. And if they're not, we can usually tell the difference. That's probably really me. Quick. But like, if you go to war with them, it's like you go to war with all of us. I, I really hate that shit. Yeah, well, it's common sense. It is, you can tell the optic. Running a business, not the easiest fucking thing. And then having the idea of how social media works. Social media is this multifaceted end of thing that you have to be so careful with. You can't just shit out stuff and be like, it's going to work great. That is one example where you have like, I guarantee what happens is like, I'm in charge of this. I will trust this individual to do this one thing and they're going to fucking hammer it. And then they don't talk and they're like, bro, I got all, I, I, I reformed a prison system. And you're like, that sounds great. We're helping felons that served our country. 
cool because in my in their head is probably is probably <laughs> at a low level. This is gonna crush it. This is great. And then that information gets turned back to the top, and they're like, "So we were funding grapists, child players, yep, and everything bad." And they're like, "Whoa, whoa. no!" Also, hey. this Zach guy, we no. made fun of him. No, yeah. that guy. He he said one tweet not about us. Did you ask him first? No, that why, guy what? hates veterans. Yeah, that yeah. guy. Wait, why didn't you talk to him first? Like in a closed proximity, why don't you have a conversation piece? Nick. Why would we do that? I got a question for you. Go ahead. You like fucking kids? No. You'll do... <laughs> you'll do... <gr> <laughs> oh, Jesus, fuck. Never done it. No, I don't like it. No, then like, you're not, you're not never, gonna... Never you, slam my dick in a car door. No, I won't like it. Then you're not gonna like the VFW. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just everyone Come for the wood paneling and the violence. cheap drinks. Leave for the awkward supportive. Sorry, please don't talk about us today. They're so angry. Oh, Why no. are they so angry on today's episode? Because <laughs> it's who wants to talk about FEMA? Yeah, fat fire, <laughs> fangry, and furious. Oh no, war. I, oh, FIFA. Holy sh... Did we already talk FEMA? about FIFA? FIFA? He's a FIFA. Soccer. FIFA. I, FIFA. Hate FIFA. I could, oh, no. could give a shit less about soccer, to be honest. Fuck soccer, dude. I fucking hate soccer. <laughs> <laughs> what they do now? <laughs> Those pores in that ball they kick around. Why right. they always got to be setting fire to stuff inside the Coliseum that they're playing in when they're just kicking a ball and screaming? It don't make no sense. <laughs> Why can't they just be friends? No, the people on the fields is fine. They just fall over whenever there's a cool breeze. But everybody in the fans stabbing the shit out of one another. Uh, okay, anger, anger. It's because they're brown. You know what we're excited for? Let's say, go the, mur on a the murder rate of El Salvador. Google that and Very then good. fucking tell me. Fair. One for one. <laughs> <laughs> they got a really good KDR. KDR? Kill death ratio. <laughs> oh, it is KDR. Why, why, why did R sound? What? KD. KDs, why? Yeah. Okay, the R KD. Was, yeah, sorry, it used I was to like be super KD. confused. Did it used to be like, KDR, wait. or is that like a? It's, it's the same, the same thing. It's a yeah. different. We just say KD. Different that's timeline, what? Mandala effect. It's Mandala effect. Yeah, no, it's fine. KD, what? I'm from the timeline KD, where dog eh? poop used to turn white after a, a while, but it doesn't anymore. Oh, yeah. So kill death know. assist. That's why. Oh, the that's a, new. No, that's new. That's new. The A is new. I, I know like, the A is new. Fuck? You know what's a positive thing? That? So we can not fight for a second. It did. We didn't fight. No, we were just. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I we, tried to we, cheat. We, we, we didn't no. fight. No, no f you. No, fuck you. When you were in there, have you seen this? Listen, Eli, I'm look at to go f yourself. Nick and I are trying to talk about you. dog shit right yeah. now. When you were a kid, yes. when you were a kid, did the dog poop turn white? Yeah. Yes. It doesn't turn white anymore. They patched it. Yeah. You ever fucking lick that white dog shit? They patched it. They patched the dog poop turning I'm white. that poor. Then what did my dad make me eat last week? <laughs> Wait, holy shit. What the what what happened? I don't know. It still turns white. There's a fucking, no, it doesn't. Yeah, you just don't. No, leave it I've out never as long. seen a white dog turn. Well, there's, 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 well, there's a scene in Step Brothers where he says, "Lick that white dog." Yeah. I'm from the white dog poop timeline. I don't Wait, know what lit, happened. I, you're just really good the at white picking speck it up fast on the top enough. of no, chicken I'm shot. Not. I've learned. Three I never pick up my dog shit. <laughs> oh, it never turns white. That's that the most the white trash thing I've ever heard in my life. I never pick up my dog shit. You you're that neighbor. What I I have watched Heartland from George Strait. I know that chicken shit turns white at the top. <laughs> Not anymore. Nope. Chick fil A? How do you spell it? Yeah. I'm saying. Hmm? I hate this. The way that I want it. Can we, we'll just talk about the fucking, the happy times that are happening Sunday when we all get shit wrecked and then do an episode afterwards. Oh, Back God. When the dog poop turned white. Oh. I mean, <laughs> yeah. We're going to a. I know our, wait, who's wearing Lederhosen? I gotta buy I'm some. Buying some. What? I gotta. If, there, if there's some available, oh, I gotta buy some. We're buying some for the episode right after. You're shitting me. You don't want to wear Lederhosen? It's my people's garb, sir. Our people's. I know your Nana. Oh, oh yeah! That's oh true. my God! Oh, yeah, Brandon, yeah. you can you can oh, wear a fucking sombrero. Oh, I, it's <laughs> it's <laughs> actually pretty fair. <laughs> Which, by the way, if you guys sombrero want to go see Oma, is she here? No, uh, she is not here. But we we would have to go fly out to see her. Is she in, trapped in the hurricane? <laughs> she's not. Thank God. Oh God! But, if she was in a tree, I'd have been like, now. she's she's down to hang. Oma's down. We're excited for this. Don't yeah. give her that face. Stop no. picking on Brandon today. I don't like the way that he said Grandma's Nana's down to hang and she's a German in the South. 
Don't you talk. I'm German and there's what? what? <laughs> huh? There's a lot of. <laughs> Brandon oh, got it. it. He got it. I'm gonna watch Beer it. Fest now, dude. We're, we're oh, about beer fest. Good movie. Oh. With a grandma in there. What, that you guys could probably. Too. You guys could probably get the broken, broken lizard. Broken lizard guys on here. Oh, At least yeah. one or two of them. I feel yeah. like we can. We we've hung out Ow. with them before. Yeah, yeah. No. and NASCAR. Yeah. When we got kicked out of the fucking oh, box. You got kicked out of the box at NASCAR. Yeah, How the man. Fuck do you get kicked out of a box? Wait, who with got a bunch you of red backs? Uh, we were sitting there with Richard Petty and fucking. Um, you guys, the guy, bicycle guy. Um, Lance Armstrong. Oh, what what happens? Happens? The bicycle guy. <laughs> bicycle guy. I mean, that's actually the nicest it's way he Pee could have Herman or Lance Armstrong. Uh, yeah. yeah, we fucking we stole a bottle of Jack Daniels and we were just a weird. Like, you got caked out. <laughs> yeah. And like, you guys didn't like. You guys didn't like tie a loose we knot and have somebody think it was a noose, did you? Not from the box. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, well, fucking, we're with Texas Dave and Texas Dave called Lance Armstrong a. And then we started slamming this bottle that we found. We found. Acquired. Acquired. We acquired somewhere. And then uh, Lance Armstrong, yeah, was talking to us. And then, and then Richard Petty was talking to us. And they just didn't want us there anymore. Swally's not here. Richard up. Petty was there? Yeah, dude. Really? Dude. They just didn't want you there? What there the was something so happened. Weird. What did you do? Nothing happened. You're, there I seems swear to, to be God. one. Brandon, Brandon, did anything happen? I wasn't there, dude. Oh, okay. Brandon wasn't even fucking. It's okay. Power. The cameras okay. won't catch Fuck that. Me. It's fine. I just like it's like nothing happened. This is how many events I've been kicked out. Of. <laughs> nothing happened. <laughs> this is the most athletic thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Are we? What? What was that for? This is the most white trash house. Oh, wait. We don't have towels. Paper towels. Oh, probably not. That's probably a good. Don't worry, I've been to college before. I know how this goes. Oh, give me some. It's getting closer to the mic. Hold on. Hold, hold, hold on. The mic first. Quick, wait. I got it. I got it. I got it. And that. Oh, what's this? It's, it's a, mop a mop head. <gasps> it's a mop. It's a mop. James <laughs> fucking power thinking. <laughs> He's like mop head. <sighs> yep. Anyways, uh, Richard Petty and Lance Armstrong were really cool. And the Broken Lizard guys were cool, too. They were there. So I got to meet the Super Troopers for the first time. It's a great time. I'm still. We didn't do then, anything. We didn't do anything. They just wanted out. you to leave. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not shitting you. I don't believe any of it. <laughs> I don't believe that either. This sounds like my kid talking to me right All now. All of a sudden, I did nothing. I was watching TV, <laughs> and then Sarah came up to me, and she had a knife out of her eye. I don't know what happened, Dad. <laughs> She just said, there's a knife in my eye. And I was like, what did you do? Be careful. We need to tell mom and dad right now because they need to know. And she was like, yeah. And then she started crying. That's what it sounds like. It sounds like you made up all that shit. Okay. Like you, what happened? I got pictures, dude. No, no, I'm serious. I have still images with I've, no I've audience. I've got still images. Of the <laughs> so, cause you, you said it was, the, it was the golf cart bit where you're just like, yeah. oh, well, we... Uh, this fucking, vodka. Yeah, this dude on the golf cart was driving by with a bunch of Jack Daniels on Here the back of it. And I was making a joke and I went to grab one and I looked at him and he made eye contact with me and he went and just shook his head. Yeah. And I grabbed one and we, we went back into this box and fucking Richard Petty and um, Lance, yeah, Lance Armstrong, Armstrong was in there. And so we all just started drinking out of this bottle. Did Lance have any? No. Pussy. No. I blame him. Yeah. Well, like I said, Texas Dave. Was He's like, got no balls. He was, no too, balls. He was too busy selling bracelets. One. Yeah, and we were just we were drinking in this box. We're going to have a really fun story by the end of the month. Well, it was like the, the fucking, it was the wives of the people that bought the box. I didn't even know them. I don't even know how he got in this fucking box. I might have just wandered in there. <laughs> it's weird. weird. You got kicked out so far. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, Yo, oh motherfucker, God. I'm important. I love, Cody, I love it. <laughs> I don't even know where he got here. So a dude was driving by with his golf cart thing, and me and another dude made eye contact, so I grabbed that bottle. So then we all started drinking, Lance Armstrong and us. Did Lance drink? No. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, well, how does the story go, my friend? Well, Ricky Bobby kept telling him to turn left, and then he tried to shake and bake. <laughs> My old spice <laughs> car, <laughs> and then we got asked to leave. Yeah, they fucking kicked us out. Well, I, I, think, I think it was Black Rifle's car, so like they were supposed to be there. Okay. That However, makes more sense. Uh, <laughs> everything that happened after that was a little foggy. A little Did blurry. you show them your purple heart? You could have probably <laughs> stayed if you would have showed them that you're a purple heart. Or something. <laughs> I just looked over. It's right. <laughs> 
Are you not proud yeah. of it? Are you ashamed of your Purple Heart brand? I didn't even notice that right that's, how I, that's why I spilt the White Claw. I was trying to make sure that he was embarrassed. God damn it. It's, it's just... I'm not ashamed of you guys. It's I would so... Be. You guys are the best thing that's ever happened to me. However... Yep. That's a little rough. It's, it is like... It's just... God, it's such a dick move on your part. It's beautiful. I know. It's just like, what's the ultimate gag gift that also he can't throw away? Oh, did you just call the Purple Heart a gag? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what's the worst thing I could possibly give him that he morally and ethically can't get rid of? He has to look after it for the rest of his life. The only thing I would a love. A child. Pepsi. Oh, I just, can we like, can I give you, you some? Like my ex. Can I give you some? <laughs> can I give you some advice right now? Which one? Please? You pull a baby you know, out of your back. Before anything you happens. Brandon. Get a post-it note, put it on the inside of that thing, and be like, this was a gift. It was not mine. Otherwise, your great-grandkids are going to find this somewhere, and they're going to start Googling. And they're going to chat My grandpa, GTP. Brandon, oh. got a purple heart. And they're oh, oh, my God, you. he got a Medal of Honor, and he fucking fought in World War II. I'll do you one better. Got... I will do you one better. The one, the one thing I want to know is, like, who? what is the name of the person that this belonged to? Nope. <laughs> You just deny me that? Yep. You! Brandon Herrera. <laughs> Give me a first name. Give me a first name. Uh, Who's, uh, whose purple heart is this? Well, I... Okay. I'll give you a hint. Uh, no, I didn't ask for a fucking hint. All right. So <laughs> he's... With he is... Brandon <laughs> Schmerschmerma. He is Hispanic. Schmookerreich Schmurders. <laughs> The Booper Bite Burger. Booper, Booper, Booper Bite Burger. <laughs> please, please tell me it's another man named Brandon Herrera. All right. So the guy's name is Hispanic. <gasps> Great. That uh, narrows it down to a third his of the population. First or last name. What? His, his last name. All right. His Lopez. last name is Jose. Oh. Last name? Yep. His first name is No Way Jose. <laughs> I hate that badger. That was, it was so it's so bad. I had it set up in my that mind. So that bad. defiled this purple heart more than I ever could. Are you? That was the grossest shit I've ever heard. That that's this is the grossest thing you've ever received. Yeah, you 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 making that joke. That was so bad. Nice try, buddy. You're still keeping yeah. it. It's right there. You right. just gifted. It I'm, was bestowed. It wasn't gifted. It's not a gift. Wait, Brandon, it was where are you putting upon that at you. your house? If I know, if I know whose it is. I will put it in my office. No shit. I, Here we go. I, we say that. offline? No, I'm not telling you shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, uh, no. This See, is, now, now I'm not throwing the ball in your court. Till I die. I'll yeah. never tell you. I'll Can I take that you. one and give Brandon mine? If you want to. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> now Brandon's like, fuck. He has oh, to put no. it in his office. It's like a Pokemon like, card. God damn it, he's, I hate he's this. So. He's giving you a Charizard <laughs> for your Jigglypuff. So, I will. I will put it in the background of my videos. I'll. I'll put it up on the gun wall. I will. I will. I'll, I'll. I'll raise that bet. That Fucking, is, uh, oh, okay, Rich. You can balls oh, in your court. What's yeah. that? I'll put. I'll put this on the gun wall in the back of my videos. You're gonna do it anyway because that was no, bestowed no. upon you from a veteran. Nope. Oh, nope. so you don't respect the veteran that gave it to you? I need. I need. I can't believe it. I don't know, know his real. name. I don't know his. I don't it's know it's real. I don't. Oh, look at. I mean, just. Google what a real one and what a fake one you're look like. You're not going to give him the, the letters now. that came with it? That's pretty fucked up if you're not going to give him the letters that came with it addressed to him. I'm Isn't trying it? to honor the veteran. Up? Yeah. Sounds about like Actually, that sounds right. Yeah. That sounds right Rich, for me. Rich, I am yeah. trying to honor the veteran who gave this to me. I don't feel, I feel like that. this is the cheap ploy in order to get oh, more information. No, this is, and I believe that this young man you. who mm. wanted me to give it to you. This feels just like a be, really I'm fucking really shitty. Just to be clear. That felt like a fake purple heart to me. Yeah. Oh, call it a fake purple heart. Just to be clear. <laughs> Go ahead. You know, hold on. You have, you have letters from a veteran and a purple heart recipient addressed to Brandon and you won't give him the letters? Correct. Interesting. Yep. It's a bold strategy. Oh, I'll give him the letter. I'll give him the letter that's addressed to him. You should work him. at the VFW with that kind of attitude. Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm not. Uh, are you a because <laughs> yeah, the, the, the VFW would give that to you if you were. <laughs> You're not giving the letters? Oh no! I feel like this has been a really bad defense so far. Oh, I, no, 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 no! You oh, guys yeah. want something that I have, and I'm not giving it up. Addressed this to is him. the first time I felt this way since I lost my virginity at 23. This is great. It was I'm, apparently for I'm me. I'm tempted to yes. call the. It's for you it's on behalf of the work that you and unsubscribed heart. have done. I'm, I'm What's a, that? I'm tempted. It's different than my purple heart. If, hey, you're more than welcome to pull out your purple heart and compare it. And if it's fake, then it then it's fake, and you can do whatever the fuck you want with it. That's totally fine. I'm telling you right now. 
I'm telling you right now that the honest to God truth of that is that I received it from a veteran who said that it was to be given to you. <laughs> it's a stolen from him. Purple heart. And you have to send it to you. you have, <laughs> it's an extra layer. He's like, I got this. And so it's just a You have supporting and, and documents in, in, that in you order to release. In order yeah. to honor said veteran, I offered to put that in the background of all of my videos from here on out. That's honoring it? Putting it in the background of a, video, of a fucking YouTube <laughs> yes. video? That's it? To show how much it means to me. Ooh. Mm, I feel like that's a bad take, VFW. Mm. You're trying. You're really trying. You're trying. I, I don't. I don't feel like that works, <laughs> dude. I have no skin in this game. You have. You, you have, can do whatever you want. Know, you have. You have letters <laughs> addressed to him yeah. that you won't give him. No, I said I'll give him the letter to him. Oh yeah. No, you did not well, say that. The on, previous on. four times I asked. Hold on. Hold on. Just for the record. <laughs> all right. I got to make something clear here. Okay. All right. There are things that I'm not sharing on this podcast intentionally. Oh, but you'll give him the letters after. The I fact. will yeah. give oh, okay. you. Yeah, privately. I'm fine. Oh, with that. that's I will fine. Give I'm you... fine with that. No, no, no. That's... <laughs> hold on. I will, <laughs> I will give you some of the things that I oh, got. So this is oh. this is like a FOIA request where you're gonna hit that bitch with a black sharpie and be like, you can't know this. You can't. Oh, this, oh yeah, yeah, that. yeah, absolutely. No, horse shit. I don't care. Horse shit. Fine. Sound like <laughs> no, no, no. government right now. I feel very comfortable with you saying that I gave you a fake um, purple heart, and, and 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 I'm like, no, I didn't. Did the perp? Did the person did who the gave perp that? <laughs> the perp it's funny because purple heart and the perp. <laughs> did the person who gave that? Know that that's what you were gonna do with it. Give it to you. Uh, he gave it to me to give to you. <laughs> did he give yeah. you letters with it addressed to him to give to him? Yes. Yeah. Did he know that you were gonna redact the fuck out of him? So one of no. uh, well, uh, no, I said <laughs> black. Market. I said it. This looks like a government. I'm being <laughs> nice and not putting his name out there because I don't want him to get any blowback for what he did. Because the purple heart community is. Right, but Brandon, you know what I'm like. Yeah, but but, but, but hold, on, <laughs> hold on. He he made. I can't. God, I don't want to say too much because I don't want to get him in trouble. Um, he made. Will you tell me? He, while hold on, hold on. Okay. He rewrote right. with Photoshop a purple heart award for you. That's awful. <laughs> like he like <laughs> he rewrote a Purple Heart award and said, you know, it's it's it is the cutout of a Purple Heart certificate, I guess you'd say, you know, that has like, you know, given to blah 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 so and so. And you're on there. So, and there's two versions of it that he gave me. You'll get them both. One with you're this. not getting you're not getting the letter that he gave to me. You're getting you're getting who's, everything else. Who's that letter addressed to? Well, th there's a, a portion that's uh, to me, oh, and then there's a portion that's to me. Now, Brandon. when the letter starts and it says, Dear <laughs> blank, who's blank? <laughs> Whole, okay, if you want the whole story, no, I just want I just want the one word. He just that wants I asked the answer. <laughs> Dear who? He gave me two letters, one addressed to me and one for Brandon. Okay, you give him the one that says Brandon. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm giving him the one that says Brandon. Unredacted. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Good. Yeah. I've got nothing to hide. This okay. is mine. Okay. I'm just, I've got nothing to hide as he spends ten minutes trying to hide <laughs> shit. But okay, I'm the delivery <laughs> guy. But I'm also. Hey, listen, I don't know what you're gonna do. You say this guy's name once, and then I'm. Mm -mm. I'm more impressed. This is what the live show's gonna be. <laughs> Dude, I got people that give me. Other. I'm gonna say one quick thing, and it doesn't do anything other than I never got a letter of why I got received a Purple Heart. What? what? Yeah, fuck you. Hold dude. on, elaborate. I never got anything. So I got you're just guessing. No, oh, got, so his Purple Heart got, means more because he got a letter with it. <laughs> You're more official. I never got a letter. Settle down. They can hear your thoughts. So really, like, we, you think you know why you got it, but you're not sure. Well, I got shot. I know the day I got shot. Right, but like, well, and he, then he has an idea. Your word says that, though, go, right? This is in combat. Again, we were in theater. Yeah. They he go, has an idea I, of why I, he got shot. I have <laughs> no, but we didn't go. There weren't like, here's a paper and everything. They were like. But like no, it. I mean like like when you read like metal citations, it's like you know I never private got that. Eli yeah. Cuevas yeah. blah 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 on this day. Never got this. this is the one so that like, I never got. We're just read guessing it's because you got shot. That was the letter that was given I mean, to you. Yeah, if you want <laughs> <laughs> that or exploded. Okay, that's <laughs> but wild. I never was handed like for mine. It was never that. It was uh, documentation from the. See, this shit. is what pisses me off in doing my videos because it's always like, hey, you said that. Uh, you said that medals are shit. You said that Colonel so and so had a distinguished service cross or whatever, and I can't find the documentation for it. It's like, homie wore it in every fucking uniform he ever had. He's here's an interview where he says he got it doing this. 
I can't find the certificate, so I don't fucking believe you. And it's like, if, right, if you I had the best, I, so you're real saying quick, I, I, uh, real quick, best example of how medals work in the military. This is how I knew they weren't worth their fucking weight in gold. Was we were the uh, front assault unit, a fucking majority in Baghdad, and then when we seen another company getting awarded medals. Four months to five months later, we were like, oh, okay. And then they started reading what they did. And we're like, wait, that's what we did. Why? <laughs> no, it was yeah. like, wait, they're getting medals. <laughs> like we were so surprised because they weren't in the action. They were on the fob the entire time. And then they went out mm -hmm. to action. And they had like three ticks total. And we were doing that every other day. So we were hyper confused. And then our captain, or no, captain, not first aren't. And Captain were like, hey, yeah, the medals are like a bullshit system. They put it in and then they just get approved. And it is, that is how you get them a lot of the time. Oh, so, yeah, so I, you, I had, you guys were like, when the fuck did we get ice cream? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are getting paid. Exactly. Exactly. Dude, we were so confused by that. We're like, I have very familial examples fuck? of people who like earned a certain medal but didn't get it because the paperwork was never filled out. Dude, I, I, and I'll say your name, Jake Tribbett, a big shout out to Jake Tribbett. This is doing Fallujah, the push of Fallujah. He like pulled, I wanna say a uh, dude got shot and then he pulled one of his buddies, another dude was getting shot, pulled him back, ran out, grabbed another dude, pulled him back. This is like in Fallujah, heat of Fallujah. He was put in a bronze star, and again, this is during that push. This is like, nah, eh, we we're we're being restrictive on um, uh, bronze stars or any medals. So he is in the shit. The shit. He is attached to a marine unit. He's a navy uh, uh, corpsman. corpsman, and he is doing this. And they're like, hey, you're not getting this medal because you didn't return fire. That was literally. The record of why he did not get a bronze star with V device is because he did not return fire. He was running yeah. out enemy fire and pulling people out of gunfire <laughs> that were injured. And that was the write off of why he never got anything. It's fucking insanity. I was like, holy shit. Bro. There it's, is it's a pretty weird because when you go to medic school, they don't really teach you to return fire. They teach you to run out, run your <laughs> ass out there, guys. <laughs> put a tourniquet on if the tourniquet's necessary. Otherwise, get that motherfucker out of there as quickly as possible. Cover and at no it, my point friend. in my training was I ever told, hey, Return fire. I need to pull out this tourniquet real quick. Hold on. The amount of times that I've seen okay. medics throw grenades in the heat of battle. <laughs> Let me tell you. Renowned for it. I would give them the sniper rifle just like. <laughs> just a saw, bro. Just like in um, shit. What was that really bad EOD movie? Call of Duty. No. Oh, Hurt Locker. Hurt Locker. Hurt Locker, oh, Hurt Locker wow. where a random guy goes onto a scope with a 50 cal. And dots a dude. Hey, don't talk about a Hawkeye like that. Dude. I think that's every You're the only hot movie. guy I know. Hot dude. God, God I have a I have the I worst have, movie ever made for I military. Used, that I used to think that. I, I used to think that. I had a really awkward conversation with a dude that was EOD in like 03. And he's like, that movie's actually pretty fucking realistic he's yes. like I, everybody everybody shits on it because it seems unrealistic to you he's like you have to realize eod guys in 2003 and 2004 2005 wild west he's like we did yep whatever the fuck we wanted and nobody challenged us on it because we had such a high turnaround because so many dudes were dying doing that job so that my they, my flip side to that argument yeah. is when you see an infantry unit deployed and they leave their humvee running the EOD element walks up and like this Humvee's unattended with a 50 cal in the back. Where are they? And then like, oh, they're they are they're inside this house. No fucking unit I've ever met. It's like leave the vehicles with the fucking heavy mounts unattended in the streets. We're gonna take these houses and secure the area. You know what we tell our 50 cal shooters and the drivers? Hey, stay the fuck in the vehicle. Don't fucking move. We will secure the area for everything else. Never dismount because if we dismount, it went in a house and then I um, uh, say fucking bleep. I almost said. <laughs>
He's in the 50 cal. Yes. The bad guys are in the 50 cal, like, aimed at the building that we're about to dismount, and they light us up. It's like, wow, it's a bad day. I'm not saying every person. I'm just telling you what the dude that did it in 2003 yeah. told me. But, I, like, I saw ahead. it as more of a an amalgamation of a bunch of individual stories put together as one guy because we definitely got a safety briefing about a dude that went off post to go hit a brothel and and also a dude that like went off post to like do some superman shit and hold a guy hostage that he thought was like a bomb maker or some shit but rewind stop pause okay how many how, you like you know, it? how many people do you know would just hold fire for a dude to break through all the uh, security barriers? No, I'm not saying all the. Yeah, true. yeah, that's where you're like. No, no, no. Uh, that guy like walks up with a gun and does this, and you're like, ah, how about we be shot <laughs> at the 300 yard line? <laughs> We've done that multiple. <laughs> I had a I had a guy that was running a checkpoint onto a post uh, or fob overseas and uh deployed with them it was my second tour and he was like the the rifleman that was like out in front and the car like stopped that wasn't like avoid like doing the correct directions to get through to go at this checkpoint and it was it was a v-bed it was a v-bed and he was just like oh fuck and like grabbed the guy and just started beating the shit out of him and drug him out of the car and start beating the shit out of him and he was like, cause he was like trying to detonate it as he was like, you know, up against the car, like, oh my God. And uh, he kept his hat. He like, <laughs> <laughs> he, he, like the first time he told me, he was like, yeah, I beat the shit out of this guy. He was going to detonate. He really fucked me up, but I still have his hat. It's at home. I've got my hat. I got his hat at home. I beat the shit out of him and we arrested him and he, he got interrogated. And, uh, but I've got his hat. I keep that hat. Then I'm like. Hey. It's the small things. Yeah. Can, <laughs> can I can I show you guys something? And I'll I'll send I'll send this to the editor so you guys can see it too. God, I really I hope people, it's your wiener unedited again. I have. It's not very big. Fool me once. In. Anyways, uh, I get sent a lot of shit to my email of like everybody's just like here's my funniest story in my whole military career and one of the best ones I've ever gotten was like hey here's all the pictures of my scout sniper platoon we we bought mascot grade beaver costumes and we're running around in Iraq with 50 caliber barrels with fucking fuck? beaver costumes on. <laughs> How do you terrify it? Dude. Dude. That's, That's a psyop. Dude, in 50 years, that is why we won the war. Why were you terrified of the infidels? They walked in beaver costumes and did beaver not care. Dude, they were murking us with beaver costumes. Boosies is coming. Boosies is here. Boosies is here. I've heard some boosies. Holy shit. I boosies said, is coming. You, you know that was the Texas unit. Because like, they were like, we're going to be Bucky's in Iraq, man. We're going to close it out. Like I, I've said it before. I think it was Wojnowski. One of my favorite things was it was clearing a sector and he goes to it was a hard spot or whatever. He opens the trunk with a 12 gauge. Like, poof, opens it again. Boom, clears it. Opens it. And there is a 300 pound V pid at the back of the trunk that he just shot to open said V pid. And he was like, bah! opens. He's like, cool. <laughs> like an awkward walk away. Oh, we're going to call EOD and they're going to ask why we opened this with a 12 gauge. I was like, bro, he just almost killed your entire fucking team right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no big deal. Yeah, no big deal. When the, when the V bid went off when I was overseas that I got hit with, I was sitting there and I was in the uh, the gunner's uh, hatch chilling out in a Humvee, 240 Bravo, and two guys in front. And we're both looking over at the front Humvee that's going out of this compound. And we're like, what's going on? Why aren't they leaving? And I'm, oh, the gunner's yelling at somebody. I'm like, something's fucking happening. He's, oh, he just racked his 240. Something's fucking, boom. And then I was like, ah. And I pop up and the gun, and I'm like, I racked my 240. And I'm scared. And we're, and we're all just like, are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah, that was fucking insane. It was awesome. What about the first car? I go, they're jumping out of the Humvee. It's deadline. Uh, everybody's live. Okay. <laughs> and then it was like, that, 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 that. And they're like, what's falling around? And I'm like, looking around, I'm like, but. 
there's there's people meat. They're like, what? <laughs> there's, there's people meat falling on and around our truck. There's pieces of people. It's not our people. It's a it's definitely an Arab because everything's hairy. And <laughs> I said that. I said that out loud. Both statement that's coming from you. Calls. Yeah. I mean, it was like, it wasn't so a cool. joke. It was like, seriously, like, no, I'm like, I'm breaking it down. I'm like, no, no, no. It's, it, this is like skin from like the arm and thigh of or a leg of somebody. Like, yeah, this is really a hairy can. fucking dude. And uh, they're like, all right, you know, beware for secondary. So I'm like, okay. And then, uh, and then there wasn't. So we just kind of like towed, towed it home. And on that note, Cody. Everyone, thank you for joining the Unsubscribe podcast today. I was joined by some of my best friends. Eli Double Tap, Fat Electrician. Some. Angry Cops. <laughs> I'm dumb. <laughs> Brandon Herrera. He's got a purple heart. Brandon, hold it up. Be proud of it. Don't be ashamed of it. Brandon. Myself, Donut Operator. I fucking Please hate it here. on the dude. after show on Patreon. We're going to go into war stories. I'm going to pee real quick. Our PP story. I don't know. It's <laughs> fucking short this time because we did a very long podcast. We love you. This, I held on to that for six months and told <laughs> nobody. I, I told I'll, nobody. I'll say this. Well, for one, I appreciate the commitment to the bit, but to whoever. Uh, to whoever somebody gave that to you for real, you idiot. That's what I fucking said. That, sh fuck you. <laughs> to whoever sent this, I am very thankful. I will actually put this in the back of my videos. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Kisses.